Let's start an in on the Dungeon Island. 126. Description The timid main character, male, is sent to a different world where only women can use magic. He's not good at fighting, but he will develop a deserted island with the given creative magic. CH1 Chapter 1 Prologue In over 20 years of my life, I can never tell the difference between left eye flounder and right eye flounder, which one is the left eye? and which one is the right eye anyway. If you lay it on its belly and it shows its left face then it's a left eye, and if it shows its right face then it's a right eye, something like that, I think. I'm not certain. Well, that kind of thing don't matter anyway. Because right now I'm facing an absurd situation. Even the light novel that I just read earlier said, absurd situation may suddenly happen. Those words were indeed true. And so like I said, please help me. Currently begging me to save its life. The left eye, flounder that I have just caught is talking to me. So, my company was forcing me to give up my holiday weekend to suddenly participate in company fishing event. On top of never doing fishing, I also didn't have any tools for it, and yet my company coerced me into doing it. Which I couldn't help it. It was the first time in my life to board a fishing ship, so I set up my fishing line while forcing a smile and holding in my seasickness. Lo and behold! Dangling on my fishing rod was the first fish caught for the day. My superior was making a bitter face because the head of the department was supposed to catch the first fish, but it's not like I caught it because I wanted to. Although I had set a small bait on purpose, somehow I happened to quickly catch a big left high flounder. Well then, you can turn me into a sashimi or a munir, I'll be delicious either way. However, I will bow my head and ask you for your help. Can you have mercy on me? The fish said. It looked as if it intends to perform formal bow, based on the movement of its small head. Or so I think. The weird thing is, no one around me seemed to notice that the fish was talking to me. Maybe I'm just imagining things? Or maybe this is just a dream and I'm still sleeping in the bedroom of my apartment. So I tried pinching my right cheek as much as I could but it only hurts, and I didn't wake up. Even though I'm begging you like this. You still won't save me? I have no intention to eat a fish that can speak human language. Rather, I want to quickly escape from this situation. However, I can't reply to it, and I can't just release it. If the people around me see me talking to a fish they will no doubt question my sanity, and if I suddenly put out the fish from the icebox and release it to the sea my superior and my head department will surely be surprised and asking me what the hell am I thinking. Alright I understand. Well then. I will grant you one wish. What do you want? I can turn you into a managing director or something so you can get back on those annoying higher ups. The flounder sent a glance towards my superiors and the head of department. Or so I think. Dot. Is a managing director position not enough? Well, I don't mind turning you into the company president though. It keeps continuing the nonsensical talk. Well how about the chairman then? How about being the main shareholder? I can give you whatever position you want. The company I'm working for is a black company, it doesn't have good performance. Even if I were to become someone with high position in the company it feels like I would still have a hard time either way. It's no use having a high position in a flawed company. It's like someone who's going to be a king of a country which about to get destroyed. T.N. Reminds me of Thumper's ending in Twisted Metal 2. It was nothing more than a burden of responsibility. I see that you have no desire for power. That's because I hate troublesome things. Rather than that, I would be happy if I can become a very popular handsome person. Turning you into a handsome person is impossible. The flounder immediately replied as if reading my thoughts. Is making my face handsome harder than turning me into company president? Then it's better if you change the people's preference so they think of me as the world's most desirable man. Don't you think that's impossible? I'm not a striped jack fish you know. I have no idea that fish have different abilities based on their types. I've no idea what flounders can or can't do anyway. How about giving me the ability to create things then? Ever since I was a small kid. I always had a complex because of my lack of creativity. If I was able to skillfully create stuff, I think my life would be much better by now. The flounder looked my way and laughed. Dot or so I think. So in conclusion, what you wish is to have a creative magic, isn't that right Mr. Shiro Sanada? This fish, how does it know my name? There are many things I would like to ask this flounder. What does it mean by creative magic? And how does it know my name? Suppose I just say that I want 1 billion yen instead, can it really give me that much money, and such and so on. However, 
I didn't have time to do that. The slightly muddy sea slowly opens like a mouth. It looked like a black hole with less than two meters in diameter. Basher. The flounder jumped up to the air with a noise, and just like that it returned to the sea. Or so I think. Everything happened in an instant. Before I realized what was happening, I was sucked into the black hole that appeared on the surface of the water. CH2 Chapter 2 Shiru got captured. I'm drowning. Or so I thought but, nothing like that happened. Wasn't I supposed to fell into the sea? When I came to, I was in an unfamiliar location. Instead of the sea, it was a bare land on the corner of a building made of stones. It's pretty big and looked like a castle. There were no windows on the castle so I can't peek on what's inside of the building. For such thing to happen, I think this was all because of that flounder's doing. Even if I try to look around, there's no one here. Trying to find that flounder on the dry land would be a fool's errand. Well, no use just standing here. Let's move somewhere to have a better grasp of the situation. There are large shrubs in front of the building blocking my view. If I move towards the other side of the shrubs, maybe I'd find out something. With such thoughts, I started to make a move. As I passed through the shrubs while getting scratches along the way, I found a narrow cobblestone path. There were flower beds alongside the path but the flowers have been trampled on miserably. And is that the smell of blood? You can also smell what seems like rusted iron around here. It's like a big brawl just happened here. You, what are you doing here? Just as I was pondering about it, a group of soldiers suddenly surrounds me. I said soldiers, but it's not the Japanese SDF kind of soldiers. These ones are wearing old European type of armor and helmet. It's as if I'm looking at some kind of fantasy movie. Although the language used wasn't Japanese, but I somehow understood what they said. However, based on the voice I think the soldiers in front of me are women. Ah, uh, um, I think I got lost here. Since I haven't got a grasp on the situation, I can only give vague explanation. The city is under martial law. Well then, are you a remnant of the royal army? A spear was pointed against me. It's tip shining. Why, 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 you're wrong. I'm just a civilian. Enough. With your excuses, as the spear was pulled, I closed my eyes. Will I die in this place? Well, well, hold on a bit. It's a guy right here. Let's not kill him right away. Why not have him to entertain us instead? The woman's voice was very vulgar, and the others are agreeing with her. Don't worry. We won't kill you if you can entertain us. In return we're expecting you to give us a lot of service, yeah? The soldier took off her helmet and brought her face closer to my face. Her facial features look like a westerner, but it's a female alright. Her breath stink, and her face is also filthy. As she tightly grabbed my wrist, I can tell she has a lot of gripping strength. It's just a possibility, but maybe I can't match her strength? I know I haven't been exercising for a while but I shouldn't be losing to a woman in terms of strength. Up until high school, my physical exam score is always above average. If that's the case, then why can't I shake her hand off of my wrist? Either way, I'm no good at violence. If never been in a fight ever since I was born. But if I let it be like this then, don't even think of running away, yeah? If you do as we say we won't hurt you. While saying that, one of the female soldiers put a knife on the nape of my neck while stroking my butt. I feel like I'm on the receiving end of a power harassment and sexual harassment. No, it's not as simple as that. Is it possible that, I'm going to get assaulted by these women? Squad leader, where are we going to do it? One of the cells is empty, right? We'll do it there. Wait, this guy has a rather beautiful skin, and he doesn't smell at all. No, actually. He smells really good. E is that true? Everyone came up to me and sniffed. I don't know if they like the smell of the shampoo, but they randomly sniffed at my hair. The smell of their body odor and bad breath made me want to vomit. Now that I think about it, the smell of kendo armor was also awful. Must be because a body armor is quite stuffy. Oh please give me a break already. What should I do? I can't wait anymore. Let's do him right away. The female soldiers then flanked me from both sides and took me into the prison. I was brought to a dimly lit room in a semi-basement. The walls, floor and ceiling were all made of stone and there were small windows for light. The door was made of thick wooden boards, and the ends were reinforced with metal fittings. Doesn't seem like something that can be broken with human body alone. So, it really is a prison. There was a long thin wooden bench in the corner of the room, which looks like a bed. Take her off his clothes. The soldier which looked like their leader gave order, 
so the others pushed me down. You don't want your clothes to get torn right? Just be a good boy and stay quiet. A soldier stood in front of me and licking her lips. Her rugged hands stretched toward me. He ha he, I'm getting excited. Maybe because she's unfamiliar with a zipper. She seems confused and unable to take off my clothes. The hell with these clothes? I was wearing raincoat separated into top and bottom halves. I bought it because it was needed for fishing and made from material with excellent moisture permeability and breathability. Don't you dare tear it. Although it was only a raincoat it costs me 30,000 yen. What are you hesitating for? I'm sorry, but his clothes, that's enough, move. The female captain shoved her subordinate and move in front of me. Neil. I was then kicked on the back of my knee and pressed toward the stone floor. My kneecap hurts because it violently hit the floor, and while I kneeled like that suddenly the soldier beside me lightly tapped my cheek with the side of a knife. You don't want to have a scar on your beautiful face, right? Her purring voice made me want to vomit. The captain then moved closer to her face just inches away from mine. Well now, how about giving me a kiss? You. When's the last time you brush your teeth? Don't tell me you never did it not even once in your life. You'll get periodontal disease you know. A smell so awful it beyond words started to spread in front of my face. And then, gag, bletch, bleach, I vomited. I've been feeling nauseous ever since the morning due to seasickness, but now that I got here, it's like a dam has broken down. Ah, I totally vomited on her face. The captain was glaring at me, her face was all red. Is she angry? No she's furious. The surrounding soldiers were laughing, but I feel like the situation is really bad now. You bastard, how dare you make a woman lose face. No more playing nice now. Was it my fault anyway? Are you until you beg and cry for mercy? Dot. Now take off your clothes. Well, even if you say so. Gobo. I received full blow kick to my gut. It hurts so much that I was crawling on the stone floor. It was a blow so hard, I was unable to breath properly. As I thought, it can't even be compared to the strength a woman normally has. As I'm holding back the pain, she pulled up my hair forcing me to stand. Well, strip, even though it's an unpleasant order, being defiant here would only end up being painful. Being surrounded by six soldiers, doesn't seem like there's a way to escape. Since there's no other way, I started to unzip my raincoat. Every time I removed a clothing the soldiers cheers loudly. When I pulled out my t-shirt and my upper body become naked the soldiers excitement reaches max level. Even though this guy's face is only 78 but his body is the best. Hell yeah. You people really saying whatever you want. However, now that I think about it I had a similar conversation with my classmate during swimming lesson in junior high school. My former classmate Yoshida-san. Please forgive me for what I said at that time. Now that I become the receiver of such insolent remarks, I finally understand how cruel that comment actually was. If we're somehow able to meet again at the Alumni Association, I'll be sure to act kindly to you. That aside, it would depend on whether I will be able to safely return or not. I'm not sure what they would do to me but I'm already thinking of resigning myself to fate. Well they say that man shouldn't ever give up, but what should I do anyway? Alright, lay him on the bench. They then pushed my naked body on top of the wooden bench. It's too late to cry now. We'll keep using magic until you satisfy all of us. Magic? What are you talking about anyway? The soldier that has been roughly grabbing my face, from her palm I can feel a mysterious power is flowing into my head. Immediately, against my will. My lower half suddenly erect. What just happened? It seems our preparation is complete. Ha ha you're feeling excited too now don't you? Like hell I am. This people have been saying whatever they want. However, is this what they call magic? What a frightful power. All I can do is gaze towards them. The squad leader then moving in. Trying to straddle me while I am still pushed into the bench. I really want to curse the flounder that has brought me into this place. Wait. If I want to hate someone it's better to hate these people who's doing such nasty deeds. You lot, what are you doing there? It was a close call. Another group of soldiers arrived, accompanied by someone in luxurious clothes which just called out to us. All of them were women, as expected. Isn't there any man in here? Probably already understood what happened here after a single glance at the surroundings. The person in luxurious clothes lightly clicked her tongue. What's with the man? Mom. We found him wandering aimlessly around the castle, so we took him into custody. We were just about to start the interrogation. Interrogation my ass. The squad leader answered while hurriedly wearing her underwear back. We'll be using the prison. Quickly get out of here. Mom, 
Yes, ma'am. Also, leave the man here, understood. The squad that captured me quickly running away from the prison, put on your clothes back. She sounded haughty, but it doesn't feel like she's going to assault me. I gratefully put on my clothes back. This time, the group of soldiers brought someone else wearing even more luxurious clothes. It seems like some of the soldiers here are not low rank. Well then, Princess Christia, would you please enter the cell? After things calmed down, a single female enters the prison cell I'm in. She also wears luxurious clothes. It's like a man's clothing, but maybe it's the trend here. She has such a beautiful and dignified face. I think I'm falling for her there and then. It's like heaven and earth compared to the soldiers before. CH3, Chapter 3, Shiru and the Princess. August 17, 2022. The Princess, which her name was Christia, glared at the surrounding soldiers. You dare lock a royalty such as me inside a place like this. The noble like woman, which must be the princess enemy, only laughed. No way we can just put Regalta's war princess under house arrest. It will be safer to put you in here instead. Don't think this is over. The eastern garrison has not yet fall. Coming from someone who lost the capital, it only sounded like the howling of a losing dog. If only General Houston didn't betray us. Whatever you say now is useless, 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 you know. Anyway, it might feel a bit cramped but until the execution three days from now. We're going to have those handcuffs stay just like that. At least, you can have that man to take care of any necessities you might have. A right person at the right time I'd say. Who knows, maybe you can ask him to comfort you from your misfortune too. The noble-like woman then left the cell while laughing loudly. Doesn't seem like they would let me out of the cell any time soon. This is very troubling. After seeing that her enemy already left, the princess then sits on the bed. Even though she didn't order me to stand but I remain standing as is. Looking ahead with a troubled expression, I can see that her face is full of sorrow. Doesn't seem like this is a good time to start a conversation. Even though there's mountain of things I want to ask about. Who are you? Suddenly, the princess let out a heavy sigh. Geez. This is a bad situation, isn't it? Instead of speaking to me, I feel like she's only talking to herself. But I can use this to start a conversation. It seems like your highness is in a terrible situation indeed. The other party is a princess, so I need to be mindful to use honorific. Since I'm a sensible member of a society, at least I can do this much. The princess that I spoke to looked at me as if she was surprised. To think that you would directly speak to me. Well no matter, after all I'm just a captured princess now. I don't think social standing no longer matter at the moment right? Foo-foo. She laughed self-mockingly, but I think I'm in the clear to have direct conversation with her. Would it be fine for me to ask questions? It's fine. Ask as much as you want. It's not like we have other things to do now anyway. Since I have the permission, I'll be asking many questions now. Where are we now? We're at the prison cell now. Many of my superiors back then also like to throw lame jokes like this, and I hate most of them. But since the one doing it right now is a princess, I better behave myself. Looking at my troubled face, the princess slightly smiled. My bad, I guess it was a bad joke. Naturally this is Regalta Kingdom's capital. Regalta. Were you brought here from somewhere else? Rather than brought here, I was transported here. Thanks to that flounder, it was an interworld's transportation. I'm not someone from this world. I don't know how to explain it very well, but I was actually transported here from another world. The princess stared at me intently as if trying to digest what I've said. She then pulled my hand to let me sit on the edge of the bench. Poor thing, it seems you got hit in the head. Since you're well dressed I assume you're a son from a good family. What's the name of your parents? Can you tell me that? Yeah, I'm aware that what I just said must sound crazy, however, there is magic in this world right? Then it shouldn't be surprising if there's actually some kind of magic to summon people from another world. My name is Sanada Shiru. Sanada. Shiru? Sanada is my family name. The princess then slightly nods her head. It seems like she's thinking with her eyes half closed. I can't recall a family name of Sanada. From the sound of it, it looks like a foreign family name. It doesn't seem like the family name of the people in our country. Also I don't think such family name exist in the empire either. I don't think the empire here would refer to Japan. Since the last time Japan referred to itself as empire would be when my grandparents were just little kids. And you are called Shiru. 
Huh? How old are you? I will be 24 this year. You're saying that you're older than me, even though you look this young? While saying that, the princess sitting beside me is stroking my head. I'm totally being treated like a kid with a loose screw. That being said, the woman of this country really has large body size. Maybe comparable to the Germans or the Dutch. My height is 168 centimeters, but the princess here is much taller than me. Also, her breast is quite big. On top of being a beauty, the princess has a really good style. Involuntarily, my face is starting to turn red. Foo foo foo, are you feeling shy? Such a cute reaction. Don't worry though, I won't do such a thing like forcing myself upon you. Compared to the woman soldiers before, I feel that the princess is really good natured. She has polite manner and treats me with nothing but kindness. Although it's possible that she treated me like that because she thinks I'm pitiful. That being said, I would hate to do it with the soldiers, but if she were to become my partner, I would totally be okay with it. Rather, I would very much want to be embraced by her. No no no, it's neither here nor there. Right now, rather than focusing on lust, it's much better to try gaining more information. Your Highness. Isn't there any man around here? Ever since I came to this country, I've yet to see a single male. Since we are currently in state of war, I'm sure every man is hiding right now. If any of them would wander around, they might get taken away by the soldiers just like you did. It seems like all the soldiers here are women. Isn't there any male soldiers? Man can't use magic though. They're also physically inferior to women. Our country only employed female soldiers. The enemy country, Air Ugoa Empire is also the same. The princess explained it slowly, as if trying to get the point across to a dim-witted kid. I see, so men can't use magic huh? Something's not right. If I remember correctly on what the flounder was saying, it said something about giving me creation magic or things like that. Hey Shiru, where do you hail from anyway? I would like to ponder more about magic, but the princess asked me a question. It would be rude to ignore her. The country where I come from is called Japan. And where is it located? Ah, uh, well, you see. Sorry, sorry, it seems like the question is a bit too difficult. Again, I'm being treated like a complete dimwit. There was no malicious intent though, but it's still a bit irritating. What kind of country is Japan? Let's answer this question intelligibly so I can change her perception of me. It's an island country surrounded by oceans. It has population of about 126 million people. An economic powerhouse with advanced technology and industry. Did I make a good impression? Ahahahaha. I see I see. So even though it's an island country it has more than three times the population of the empire. My my, your story is so amusing. Shiru, my bad. I guess you were just trying to cheer me up, that's why you came up with such outlandish story. I thought you were just a bit soft in the head, but it seems I was wrong. That's not the reason why. You have my gratitude. Even though I will be publicly executed in three days but I'm really glad that you're here with me. <laughs> Excuse me, your highness is able to use magic, right? But of course, it can be said that I'm one of the five top offensive magic experts in the country. If that's the case, couldn't you somehow do something to escape from here? I wanted to know the specific on how magic is being used. That's because, the only magic I've seen up to now is to control the man's lower body part. Unfortunately, there is this handcuff here. This is a special magic item, unless I can remove it, I'm unable to use my magic. I can't even use body reinforcement magic. In my current state, I'm just as frail as a man. Ho ho. In summary. This world's woman has superior standing than man because they can use magic. That's why the soldiers and nobles were all women. Suppose that you can remove the handcuff, is it possible to escape from here? Yeah, I'm strong you know. They called me the war princess of Regalta. I can easily break through from this kind of prison. However, finding a secure route to avoid pursuit might be a different matter. The princess wrists are being handcuffed by some metallic shackles. Doesn't seem like it can come off by hitting it. Um. What will happen to me then? I'm not sure. I don't think they will kill you. Unfortunately, you might be enslaved and given to an aristocrat as a reward for participating in war. Or you might be transported to frontier area as pioneer, I think. I can't imagine a good future by being either a slave or a pioneer. I need to somehow escape from this place. Sorry. The reason it comes to this, partly because I can't stop the Empire's invasion to our country. I hope you can forgive me. The princess is seriously apologizing to me. No, 
This is not your highness fault. The one at fault is the soldiers that captured me, and that flounder. Speaking of which, that flounder was saying that I would be able to use magic. Right now, it's important to confirm about the existence of magic. Your highness, how would someone normally use magic? How to use magic? To put it simply, the young ones would do deep contemplation to find out their own characteristics but, everybody instinctively know how to do it. That's common knowledge. Is that so? So I need to do deep contemplation. How do I do that anyway? If I calmly search within myself, will I understand what kind of magic I'd be able to use? Dot. Let's give it a try. Chapter 4, Invocation, Creative Magic, August 17th. 2022. I took a deep breath and closed my eyes. Hey Flounder, Mr. Flounder, Sir Flounder, how do I activate my magic? I was prepared of yelling, status open. As a last resort. However, it turned out just by contemplating is already enough, a translucent window panel suddenly appeared before me. Hash 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 hash. Creation Magic, LV.1. Acquired experience colon 0100 MP 40 slash 40 food production LV.1 opening parenthesis CXP colon 00, 00 closing parenthesis tools production LV.1 opening parenthesis CXP colon 00, 00 closing parenthesis weapon production LV.1 opening parenthesis CXP colon 00, 00 closing parenthesis material creation LV.1 opening parenthesis CXP Colon zero zero closing parenthesis. Golem production, medicine production, other, keyword search underscore 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 hash 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 hash. The translucent window shows many kinds of magic that I can probably use. By any chance, can I create a panacea? Let's try using the keyword search. Hash 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 hash. Item production colon panacea opening parenthesis cell v dot closing parenthesis category colon medicine production opening parenthesis cell v closing parenthesis MP consumption 260 explanation colon medicine that cures all kind of injury and illness production time colon 247 years hash 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 it really exists the problem is I can't make it with my current level even my MP is not enough. And above all, what the heck with 247 years? I will die of old age first before it's completed. Oi, Shiru, why are you looking at an empty space for a while now? Princess Christia's voice made me return to my senses. Apparently, she can't see the window. Well, actually, it seems that it turns out I am able to use magic, so I was looking into several things. What are you saying? You know well that man can't use magic. Ah, again. She's looking at me with pity in her eyes. I really want to tell her that I'm not imagining things. Being held in this kind of place, it's understandable that you want to escape from reality. However, you need to pull yourself together. While saying that she hugged me gently. It's as if she's a prince that tries to comfort a heartbroken princess. The roles are reversed though. Well, I don't hate this kind of situation. I'm really happy to be hugged by such a beautiful woman. So soft. My estimation. Her size is F cup, so this is what it likes to be held by such fluffiness. It's really a strong stimulation for me, who don't have much experience in romance. When I was in university I had a girlfriend, but since our schedule didn't match with each other we soon broke off. So, have you calmed down a bit? Instead of getting calm, I'm getting really excited down there. If this keeps up, I don't think I can hold it back, but at the same time I'm not courageous enough to start a move with her. I'm such a wimp. I wonder if she's going to make the first move instead. Yes, I think I've calmed down. Contrary to my expectation, even though I've stayed still, Princess Christiana moved her body away from my unmoving self. Disappointingly, her behavior's too gentlemanly, gentlewomanly, even though I would really want to do sexy time with her tonight. It's still in the afternoon though. Get some rest Shiru. I'll also lie down for a bit. Princess Christia then lay down on the bench and closes her eyes. Farewell Jiggly Rack, until we meet again, it was a pleasure to be acquainted with you. No no, what am I doing? It's not the time to be regretful. I need to get back to experimenting with my magic. It's fine to being flirty, but right now there are lots of I things to think about. Rather than boobs, op I, I'm thinking about lots of things, ip I. So I tried opening the status window again. After reading the description, 
I noticed that the easiest thing to produce at the moment is water. Hash 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 hash. Item production colon water opening parenthesis cell V dot one closing parenthesis category colon food production opening parenthesis cell V dot one closing parenthesis MP consumption for explanation colon can be produced using oxygen and hydrogen in the air. It is also possible to create a drinkable fresh water by using existing available water, sea water, river water, water in food, and in that case, the production time is shortened. Production time colon 30 minutes opening parenthesis 1000 milliliters closing parenthesis hash 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 hash. So it will take 30 minutes to make it. However depending on the creation magic level, category level, and production level, it seems that the production time can be shortened. For the time being I'll try making one. I then closed my eyes, and as if doing meditation. I tried directing the consciousness inside my body. As I do so I can feel the magical power inside my body, the same way I can feel my pulse and breathing. Then I start activating the creation magic. As I did that I could feel some of my magical energy dissipating, and a timer appeared at the edge at the window. Water time until finished 0 29 and 58 seconds. It seems it has started, and the process is automatic. No need to keep concentrating on the magic. After I activated the magic, I can just leave it be, so I can do other things while waiting for it to finish. That being said we're in a prison cell. There's almost nothing for me to do here. Maybe I should clean this place a bit. I know that cells are usually dirty, but I can't stand seeing the puke that I threw up before. If I had to say, it smells terrible. But even if I look around the cell. There's nothing which seems to be a cleaning utensil. The only thing available here are the bench we're on and the bucket at the corner of the cell. I'm pretty sure the bucket's supposed to be our toilet. Now that I think about it, hygienically we're pretty much in a horrible situation, aren't we? It would take 247 years for making a panacea, but how about vaccine and antibiotics? If I don't do something, we might die from pneumonia or infection. Oh, it seems that I can use keyword search for penicillin. It seems that if I have the blue mold as material it will take 47 hours. Well that's quicker than I thought. The medicine can be produced to be consumed orally, so no need to make the syringe. In any case, it seems to be impossible for now to produce medicine, since it's still locked. Water time until finished 016, 37. What to do? After I've made the water. Should I try to produce mop or rag too? If possible, I should responsibly clean after my own vomit. I wonder how much time would I need to produce a rag? Hash 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 hash. Production item colon rag opening parenthesis cell v dot one closing parenthesis category colon tools production opening parenthesis cell v dot one closing parenthesis MP consumption 20 explanation colon a type of cleaning tool. Production time colon 6 hours. Hash 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 hash. As I thought, I would take some time since I don't have any material to make it. Should I just wipe it off with one of the clothes I'm wearing? If I throw the cloth out from the window after I clean the vomit with it the stench should go away. The clothes I'm wearing now is cotton shirt and chinos. The rain wear was taken off after being forced to buy the female soldiers earlier, but it's still there. The cell is semi underground. But the temperature here is higher than in Japan. It feels like when I arrived in Okinawa from Tokyo. It would be a problem if I use my shirt to wipe out the vomit, but I think I can just use my underwear to clean it instead. It shouldn't be a problem if I'm not using underwear here. Glancing at Princess Christiana, I saw that her eyes are still closed. I don't think she's sleeping, but she didn't make any movement either. Should I take my underwear now? Water time until finished 08. 07. It seems that I don't have much time until the water is ready, so I quietly unbuttoned my chino pants so the princess won't know. As I do so, I suddenly remembered Earth. As of now, the people on the boat should be making a fuss because I suddenly disappeared. Most probably they are going to treat it as maritime accident. It happened during holiday, so I doubt they will treat it as industrial accident. I am worried about what will happen with my parents. Will I ever be able to go back home? While well, thinking so. I started sobbing. I then wiped my tears using the underwear I just took off. Shiru, are you crying? Princess Christia was looking at me while laying on her side. This happened while my lower body part is naked. No, 
This is, as I hurried to put on my pants Princess Christia suddenly hugs me from behind. I can feel the sensation of something soft on my back. Actually, I wouldn't mind not going home yet. Shiru is so kind. Are you trying to comfort me because I'm about to die? She's making a totally wrong assumption here, but this might be a chance to score. If I can keep things going like this, we might do the deed. However, if you don't want to you don't have to force yourself Shiru. I'm not crying because I don't want to do it. I'm crying because I feel sorry for you, your highness. I tried my best to pass off as some cute guy, but I wonder how she would think. Maybe she'll just feel disgusted instead. Probably I shouldn't have done that. Shiru is really adorable. It's super effective. So this kind of thing works in this world? Alright, let's keep doing it. I can feel Princess Christia's kiss on my neck. Boy. Am I so glad that I showered this morning, although it was because I don't want to be seen as rude during the company's fishing event. Oh ooh ooh, that tickles. You're shivering huh? Don't worry, I am well experienced in handling men. Well then, I'll be leaving myself in your utmost care. I think it'll be alright even if I remain passive now. Princess Christia's white fingers is now gently caressing me, and as I close my eyes while my brain was numbed with sweet sensation, chime, water time until finished zero o'clock, water production is completed, please specify the location to appear, water, wait wait wait, I'm in the middle of something good here, water production is completed, please specify the location to appear, wow this message is disturbing, ahi, Princess Christiana, that place is. Water production is completed. Please specify the location to appear. Please be quiet and let me continue in peace. Water production is completed. Please specify the location to appear. Alright fine. I get it already. Water production is completed. Please specify the location to appear. Just make it appear somewhere over there. The moment I thought about that while looking at the corner of the cell, splash, dot suddenly the place where I laid my eyes on was flooded with water. I think the amount was around one liter. It seems that when I'm making water, I should have prepared the container beforehand. I need to keep this in mind for next time. Princess Christia didn't seem to notice that the water has suddenly appeared. Anyway, instead of thinking about magic, I would pretty much prefer to focus on what I was doing, thank you. After all, this is what I've been looking forward to. CH5 Chapter 5, Creating Tools August 21, 2022 After we've done the deed, Princess Christia then lay down on the bunk, with me on her arm. Since the princess was still shackled, it feels like the back of my head is blocked. It's the kind of position that looked like I was being forcefully pressed against her chest. I'm not exactly complaining though. You really tried your best Shiru. I'm really satisfied. And you can just call me Chris, alright? Yes, Chris Sama. With this I no longer have any regrets in this world, I think. Now I'm completely being treated like a side chick. Or in this case, would it be side dick? But since the princess is beautiful and kind, and our compatibility is really good, I'm fine anyway. Maybe because she was tired, Chris fell asleep after sighing a bit. I'm also exhausted. However, as our skin entangled with each other, I feel some kind of emotion is stirring. This princess, after three days, she will be publicly executed. I don't want that to happen, and maybe there's something I can do about it. If I can somehow remove the shackle, there should be a chance for her to escape. Let's try keyword search. Iron file. Ah, found it. Hash 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 hash. Item production colon iron file opening parenthesis cell v dot one closing parenthesis. Category colon tools production opening parenthesis cell v dot one closing parenthesis. MP consumption. 46. Explanation colon tools to carve into surface of iron or steel. Production time colon 36 hours. Hash 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 hash. My current MP is not enough. But if I use the iron bar on the cell's window, the cost will be reduced to 25 MP and will only take 28 hours. Let's start producing it right away. When I activated the magic, one of the iron bars in the window disappeared, but I don't think it will be noticed. If all goes well, it should be ready in 28 hours, which is tomorrow night, but is a day in this world 24 hours too? If I look at the counter which shows the time of production. It feels like that's the case. Iron file time until finished 27 59 31. I was still uncertain, 
but several minutes after my watch shows 12 p.m. I heard a bell ringing from the outside. That must be a signal to announce midday right? If so, then this place and earth may have the same flow of time. Even if I want to ascertain it, the flounder is not here anyway. Really, I want to complain so much to that fish, but seeing Chris sleeping peacefully in front of me, I no longer want to complain about anything. Her big chests rise and fall along with her sleeping breathing. Back on earth, they worked my ass off like a horse. And now I'm trapped in a prison, acting like a male concubine, which one is more preferable anyway? I'm not too sure. And just like that, I also start sleeping, next to Chris, with her beside me. I feel like good things are bound to happen. Food was brought to us in the night. Although I was hungry because of intense physical activities, I didn't have any appetite to eat. That's because the food was hard bread and watery vegetable soup. Even if I can make food with my magic, at the moment I can only make water and bread. If I had the materials, then I can do something even if I only have small amount of MP, but it's hard to create something out of nothing. The explanation windows said that since bread is the staple food of this world, it consumes less MP as a bonus. I'm looking forward to level it up since it would mean that I'd be able to make sumptuous meals. As long as I can escape from here, I pretty much can live anywhere. That's why, first of all, it's important to cut the shackles that bind Chris. Iron file time until finish 21.57 and 5 seconds. It's still a long way to go. I tried to see if I can create bread while making the iron file, but it seems that it doesn't support multitasking, it's impossible to make two items at once. I don't know if I can do it if my level goes up. I only hope that it will be able to do so in the future. The shackles in Chris's wrist rattled when she's drinking the soup. The hard bread was then torn and dipped in the soup. Even though she'll be facing execution in three days, Chris still seems to be full of determination. What's wrong Shiru? Nothing. I'm just surprised that you still have a lot of appetite. Foo foo. It's just that I feel like I shouldn't give up until the end. You never know when your chance will arrive. This feeling, I think this is because I've embraced you. Shiru. Because of me? Really? Yeah. You're a really mysterious man, Shiru. You're so proactive when we're doing it, and so full of compassion. I don't think I've ever met a man like you. I was just acting according to my desires though. Well, I wanted to feel good together, so I tried my best. Besides, Chris had so many requests, I end up learning a lot. Shiru. Yes, I will escape from here for sure. I won't let you become a slave. Those words made me so happy I almost burst into tears. That's okay. The iron file should be ready before the time comes. The food was bad, but now I have the motivation to eat it all to gain strength. Second day in prison cell. The morning sun shines through a small window. The time is 6.10 am. Just as I thought. The flow of time here seems to be the same as on earth. Iron file time until finished 15 15 and 27 seconds. Creation magic seems to be progressing smoothly. Good morning Shiru. Ah, good morning to you too, Chris Sama. Chris was smiling in the shining morning light. Looking at her like this, I realized again that she's a really beautiful person. Help me tidy up my appearance. They will probably give our breakfast soon. I can't eat well in this state. Chris' front shirt is wide open. I think doing errand for a beautiful princess like her is not something bad at all. I was a bit flustered when I was fixing her clothes. But Chris only showed me a happy expression. When breakfast's finished, Chris had a difficult face, like she was thinking about something for some time. I tried checking my status again. Hash 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 hash. Creation Magic LV.1 Acquired Experience Colon 4 MP 40 slash 40 Food Production LV.1 Opening Parenthesis CXP for 100 Closing Parenthesis Tools Production LV.1 Opening Parenthesis CXP Colon 00, zero Closing Parenthesis Weapon Production LV.1 Opening Parenthesis CXP Colon 00, zero Closing Parenthesis Material Production LV.1 Opening Parenthesis CXP Colon 00, zero Closing Parenthesis Golem Production Medicine Production Other Keyword search underscore 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 hash 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 hash. So, my creation magic has several categories food production, tools production, weapon production, material production, medicine production, and other. For the first four categories, I can see they're all level one for golem production, medicine production, 
and other, the level isn't shown, so I think it can't be used at the moment. I think I need to increase either the level of creation magic, the level for other categories, or both, before I can produce gillum production and medicine production. The reason why my acquired experience is 4 is probably because I made water. The word exp colon 4 is attached to both the food production level and creation magic level. This means that the more I used a production category, the higher the level from that category will be. It was a little after 1800 hours after the dinner was brought to us. We didn't have lunch, so I was still hungry. It was the usual soup and bread, but this time they also gave us six oranges, which was very delicious. However this time, Chris didn't seem to have much appetite. I think it's because she's thinking about the execution. That kind of thing does make your appetite gone. The almost all area of the prison cell is pitch black during the night. Seems like a torch was placed in front of the heavy door, a little light was leaking through the small window for surveillance. It was close to 2100 hours. The surroundings were quiet, the only thing I can hear is the occasional sound of the footsteps of the guards when they walked past the doors and windows. Ever since the meal was over, Chris' face had been pale and she looked like she was contemplating. But now she suddenly stood up as if she had made up her mind about something. Shiru. Yes, what is it? I need you to help me with something. Sensing a strong intent from Chris, I gulped. How can I help you? For now, move away from the bench, I'm going to break it. Is she going for a rampage? Don't tell me, you're going to attack the jailer? But the door is still locked. Even if you do manage to attack them, it's still impossible for you to get out of here. Even during the meal time, the only time when the door was opened, the food was brought by six fully armed soldiers. I guess that shows how wary they are with Chris, but as long as she's still shackled by the magic blocking item, I don't think it will be an equal fight. Well, no use thinking about it, so I just moved away from the bench. Chris then stood in front of it, altered her pose into a fighting stance, and adjusted her breathing. She then suddenly released a swift kick, crack, and one of the bench's legs was broken with a noise. Seriously did she just break a 10 centimeter thick block of wood with her kick? Chris then picked up the broken block of wood and nodded with satisfaction. The wood was vertically split, its surface is sharply pointed. Why suddenly breaking the bench? Well, I want to use this sharp piece to drop my wrist onto it. Excuse me, what? You see, if the shackles come off the eye would be able to use magic again. Even though I can't use healing magic, but I should be able to burn the wound to stop the bleeding. W8. B but that kind of thing. I'll try to break the bones as much as possible with the first blow, so Shiro, I need you to tear off the connecting flesh and skin. Even if only one side come off, I will be able to use magic again. Look, I'm weak to blood. Even just the sight of blood, either seeing them in a fight or in a blood donation event, is enough to make me faint. Expecting me to sever flesh and skin would be impossible. CH6. Chapter 6. Escape. August 21, 2022. TN. I now use break mark to indicate certain time has passed. While being surprised by Chris' words, I glanced at the time counter. I unfile time until finished 1.55 and 28 seconds. Two hours until it's completed huh? Please don't be hasty, Chris Sama. I'll definitely be able to remove those shackles soon. No. You won't be able to do it with your strength. This is the only choice we have. That's why, I've said it before, I can use creation magic. Right now, I'm making an iron file, so please wait until it is completed. Shiru, man can't use magic. Chris still didn't believe that I can use magic. It can't be helped, I guess. Maybe in this world, the idea of a man able to use magic is as absurd as the idea of Tokyo Metropolitan Government building able to transform into a giant robot. Still, I need to somehow dissuade her from doing it. Please, I beg you. Just wait for 1 hour 54 minutes and 34 seconds. W what an oddly specific request. At that time, the iron file will be completed. I tried to persuade her by showing my watch. What's with the bracelet? What are you trying to show me? She doesn't know about watches. In the first place, the number on the dial might use different characters compared to this world. A hey, anyhow wait for two more hours please. Chris then took a deep breath, alright I understand. It's better to escape in the middle of the night anyway. In return, Please promise me that you will help me with my plan in two hours. I promise. I finally managed to get Chris to postpone the plan. The iron file will be completed in less than two hours anyway, 
so there will be enough time to explain afterwards. Or so I thought, but as it turns out, things don't go as predicted. It will be two hours soon. No, it's still one hour and twenty-six minutes. Please wait for another twenty-eight minutes. I and file time until finished zero twenty-seven and fourteen seconds. What are you saying? You're talking as if you can tell time without hearing the sound of the temple bell. That's why. This watch here let me able to tell time. I tried showing her my wristwatch again, but it feels like questions mark appeared on top of Chris' head instead. That's enough, Shiru, I need you to brace yourself soon. As she said so Chris's hand is reaching towards the broken piece of wood. What should I do? The piece of wood then placed on the floor, with the split, sharp side facing upward. We need to hold this in place, so it won't move. So you're going to hit your wrist from above towards the sharp piece of wood. Dot 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 don't do it. I don't want you to do it. Please wait a moment. I'm begging you. Just hold on for a while. This is our only way to escape. Please understand, Shiru. What should I do? What can I do to make her wait for the next 27 minutes? Think, think, Shiru, think. Please hug me tightly. I finally blurted. I know this is not the brightest idea, but it's all I can think of right now. What are you saying at a time like this? It's, uh, it's scary so I don't think I can do it. That's why. That's why I need you to lend me your courage, Chris Sama. Well, will this reasoning works? Fah ha. Uh, all right I understand. If it will give you the courage to do it, then I don't mind embracing you again. The bench is broken though. Eh? No way, it's a great success. She then kissed me while doing a cape don, tn, pinning to the wall. Although I only told her to hug me. I'm totally all right with it though. Ah. The stone floor is cold. Don't worry, I'll warm you up. Chris is being really aggressive. I'm the one who invited her though. Her red tongue crawls around my chest, and I'm starting to close my eyes because it feels so good. Wait, I need to hold myself back here. At least until the iron file is completed. Chime. Iron file time until finished zero o'clock. Iron file production is completed. Please specify the location to appear. While being embraced by Chris, I was glad when I finally heard the announcement. The iron file is finished at the same time we finished. Chris slowly let go of my body and left a kiss on my lips. Shiru, you're no longer afraid right? No, I'm not. Well, it was embarrassing that I can only came out with such plan but at least it turned out okay. I finally got to complete the iron file. Chris Sama, please look at this. I opened my hands and held them in front of me. Then I specified the appearance of the file to be on top of my palm. H how could this be? Chris was rubbing her eyes as if doubting what she just saw. It looks very comical. So, what do you think of my creation magic? No, that's, a. Eh? It can't be, but. She looked very confused. As you just witnessed. I can make things with my magic. Shiru, are you actually a woman? Isn't Chris Sama the person who should understand the most that I'm not a woman? Well, yeah, but you can use magic. Chris scratched her cheek with her fingers. Anyway, let's cut the shackles using the iron file. Chris then sat on the broken bench, and I kneeled in front of her. To avoid the sound of the file scraping the shackles from leaking out, Chris had her jacket wrapped around it. Even though I'm actually scraping the shackles, but if someone were to look from the small window it would only be seen like Chris is servicing me with her legs. A perfect disguise, if I had to say. Try to cut the chain that connect the shackles. That way the effect of magic resist will be gone. Understood. By the way Chris Sama. What is it? Why are you caressing my head? It's to deceive the prison guards. Besides, Shiru's hair is so smooth. It feels good to touch. Is that so? I only wash it once a week though. It must have been around 30 minutes since I started scraping the chain. I'm already sweating bullets. But thanks to my efforts, around 90% of the work is done. It's almost finished. Try pulling it on both sides. Alright. Like this? I then put all my effort on the finishing work. And finally the chain is cut. Q Kaku. A job well done. Shiru. Thank you. Will it be possible for you to escape from the prison now? Absolutely. Looking outside from the small window, we saw that the guard was dozing off in her chair. When Chris pointed her palm at the guard and whispered some kind of spell, a pale pink fog thing emerged and enveloped the guard. What did you do? Sleeping mist spell. I made her fell deeper into slumber. This way she won't wake up until morning. Next, 
We approached the window to outside. It has iron bar installed. One of it has been used as material to create the iron file and thus disappeared. When Chris casted another spell, her hand was covered in red light. She then jumped to superhuman height and cut the remaining iron bar with her now sword-like hand. Amazing. Foo Foo Tilda, not many women possess this much magical strength. You know, Chris looks really proud. She jumped out of the window first and then pulled me out. My weight is around 59 kilograms and yet she pulled me effortlessly with only one hand. We're finally outside of the prison cells. It feels like it's been a long time since I was outside. The area around us was empty and pitch black. Let's hurry, Shiru. Try not to make any sound. While saying so, Chris then started to move. CH7 Chapter 7, Distress August 26th 2022. As expected of royalty, Chris knows secret passages around the castle. From the chapel in the courtyard, there is a secret underground passage leading outside the castle. We're going to escape from there. Under the cover of darkness, we made our way through the shadows. Thankfully it was a cloudy night, and there was no moon. Although there were few patrols along the way, we managed to stay hidden. After moving for about five minutes, we came to a courtyard with a large lawn. A small shrine-like building stands in the center of the garden, which must be the chapel. A bonfire was lit in front of it, and four soldiers were standing guard. Shiru, wait for me here, I'll take care of them. After the battle is over, I want you to quickly run to where I am. Chris then started running without waiting for my reply. Maybe she was using a body strengthening magic since she's moving at a speed far surpassing the athletes at world championships. It seems battle is really unavoidable in this situation. If I were to be caught again, will I be killed for the crime of jailbreaking? I'm still wondering if this is the right choice. Would it be better if only Chris escaped, and I had stayed in prison? No, definitely not. The memory of almost being assaulted by those soldiers resurfaced. At that time, if they had made their way with my body, I'm sure I would have been scarred for the rest of my life. If I had stayed in jail, I'm sure I will be treated miserably. That's why I think escaping together with Chris right now is the better choice. Red flashes sparkled around the other side of the darkness, and I can confirm by the light of the bonfire that the four soldiers have fallen one after another. I can also see Chris is now opening the chapel door. I finally made up my mind and started running to where Chris was. Since the worst thing to do is to hesitate and stay. Four headless corpses of soldiers were strewn about in the nauseating smell of blood. Suppressing my urge to vomit, I entered the chapel while looking only forward, that way I won't see the corpse, and closed the door afterward. Shiru, hurry. Chris called out to me. It seemed she had picked up a lantern and a sword from one of the soldiers. A heavy looking door was slid to the side, revealing a staircase leading to the basement. We're lucky they didn't find this place. Let's get out of the castle quickly. A little down the stairs was a landing. When Chris moved some kind of contraption, the altar then moved back to its original location, once again hiding the staircase. This passage leads to the pedestal of the bronze statue in Munson Park. From there, it's close to Philip Fishing Port. Even if you explain it to me, I really don't know the place that's just mentioned. I just nodded anyway. The highway will be blocked. So we will get a small boat at the fishing port. We'll head east after that. So I'll have to go to the sea again. I somehow have a bad feeling about it. But since I'm still clueless in this world I guess I have no other choice. I hate being swept away by the situation. But nothing I could do right now. The sun was really dazzling. Sea, sea, sea. No matter where I looked, there's nothing but sea. After we exited the underground tunnel. We headed to Philip Fishing Port. We were spotted by the Imperial soldiers several times along the way, but Chris handily took care of them using her demon-like strength. At the fishing port we stole a boat with a small sail belonging to a fisherman. I'm sorry Mr. Fisherman. It was still 3 a.m. in the morning when we set out to the sea. Everything was still fine until this point. After that, things went awry. Since Chris suggested to steal a boat and head eastward, I thought that she could steer a boat but it seems that wasn't the case. That's right. Normally, people who can steer a boat are fishermen and sailors. It's not something that amateurs can do easily. As for my case, I only have a one-time experience of being in a boat. Also, that was a ferry, not a boat. Thinking about it, 
It reminds me of the time when I was boarding ferry from Burahama Port in Kanagawa Prefecture to Kana Port in Chiba Prefecture to go to the Botso Peninsula. The horse mackerel sashimi I ate at Kanaya was delicious. I want to taste it again. I wonder if horse mackerel also exist in this world. By the way, if you're wondering how I can be so relaxed in this situation, it's because there's nothing we can do right now. After setting out to the sea, we were quickly swept away by the tide and lost sight of the land, which was partly because the sea was pitch black at night. In this world, there were no lighthouses like on earth, and the sky was so cloudy that it was impossible to determine the direction by the position of the stars. Chime. Water production time until finished zero o'clock. Water production is completed. Please specify the location to appear. It seems like the water is ready. I specified the appearance place in the pot that I had made in advance. With this, we can keep ourselves from being dehydrated. Since I used the seawater around us to make it, it only took me five minutes to produce the water. Moreover, this way I can make salt at the same time, so it's killing two birds with one stone. The consumed MP was only two, but the amount of experience gained was also small. My status is now like this. Hash 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 hash. Creation Magic LV.1 Acquired Experience 59 one hundredths MP 11 slash 40 Food Production LV.1 Opening parenthesis CXP 6 one hundredths Closing parenthesis Tools Production LV.1 Opening parenthesis CXP 53 one hundredths Closing parenthesis Weapon Production LV.1 Opening parenthesis CXP colon 00, zero Closing parenthesis Material Creation LV.1 Opening parenthesis CXP colon 00, zero Closing parenthesis Glam Production, Medicine Production, Other Keyword search underscore 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 Hash 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 Thanks to making the file and pot, the experience value for making tools is the highest. I made water twice, so now the experience value for food production is 6. It seems that it gave me 4 experience points for creating water normally, and 2 points for using seawater as material. Now that I've finished making water, I think I'll try making bread next. Bread takes 1 hour to make and consumes 6 MP so I still have enough remaining MP to make it. It seems that I can shorten the creation time to only 50 minutes by using the salt and water that I got. Let's try making it right away. By the way, I found out that my MP doesn't recover at all when I'm in the process of creating something with magic. And when I'm not using my magic, it will get replenished at the rate of 1 MP per minute. So, in my current condition. I will fully recover my MP in 40 minutes. I'm sure I'll level up soon and would be able to create more useful things. If I level up my max MP should increase and the things I can create should increase too, so for the time being I'll do my best to raise my creation magic to level 2. Chris Summer. The water is ready. I see, thanks. It's the first time I tried drinking the water I've made myself but it felt really sweet and delicious. It's thanks to you that I can stay alive. You're my guardian angel Shiru. I'm happy to hear that, but I don't think angels were supposed to have beard like me. It's been three days since I came to this world, but I haven't shaved my beard even once, and I haven't even washed my face. Mirrors, soaps, and razors. Should I try producing it next? Well, for now. I just want to wash my face. Chris Summer. What is it? I would like to wash my face. Can you please help me pour the water from the pot to my hand? Sure. It's important for a man to maintain his cleanliness. After all, I think it's equally important for man and woman to maintain their cleanliness though. Maybe in this world it's normal for men to act cute and beautiful, but to me it's nothing but discomfort. Chris Summer too. Please wash your face. Alright I guess. I wouldn't want Shiru to dislike me for being filthy, with two people using it, one liter of water gone in an instant, I'll need to make water again after I finish creating the bread. It dawned on me that human beings live by consuming one thing after another. Shiru. Chris stood up on the ship and pointed far ahead. Look. It's an island. Even if I strain my eyes, I still couldn't see any island. But Chris seemed to be able to see it. The princess grabbed the oar and started rowing with all her might making the boat rapidly gaining speed. Before long, the island was finally close enough that I could see it with my own eyes. Blue sea, blue sky, 
and long white sandy beach. It's the very definition of a tropical paradise. CH8 Chapter 8 Onto the island August 26, 2022 The boat ran ashore on the sandy beach that narrowed into a cove. I immediately pulled out a rope and tied the boat to a coconut tree that was growing on the waterside. Wow! It's the first time I've seen a real coconut fruit. Just as I was absent-mindedly looking up at the coconut fruit, Chris jumped and cut off three of the palm fruit. Even though we have Shiru's creation magic, securing food supply is still a fundamental aspect of survival. I understand. I'll keep these fruits under a shade. Since I just drank water, I'm not really thirsty right now. After we rest for a bit, let's go explore around the area. If there are people we can ask where this place is. And if it turns out to be an uninhabited island we might encounter some monster. Monster. Yes. See, like the slime over there. When I looked at the place she pointed at, I saw a jelly-like substance moving slowly in the sandy beach. Its size is as big as a man's head. I see, so that's a slime. Seeing me surprised, Chris had a puzzled look on her face. Shiru, is this the first time you've seen a slime? Yes, I've seen them in games before. But this is my first time seeing the real thing. Games? Of course she wouldn't know what a game is. I mean, I've seen its pictures before. To think someone would create pictures of slime. Shiru, your country is weird. To me it's weirder that slimes are real and roaming around. Is it dangerous? It's fine as long as you don't come near it. When surprised, it may pour digestive juices. If you don't wash it off immediately, it will sting and your skin will get rough. So it's not that dangerous. Slimes are beneficial monsters. It eats and decomposes human excrement and garbage. Don't kill them carelessly. I see. It's like a spider that eats pests. They are beneficial because they prey on mosquitoes and ticks. After I hid the water-filled pot in the coconut fruit in the grass, we then set off for exploration. By our initial survey from the direction of the sea, it doesn't seem to be inhabited by people. Even Chris. Using enhanced eyesight courtesy of body reinforcement magic, can't find anything that looks like man-made object. That's why she predicted that this island is most probably uninhabited. We tried going along the coastline, but along the way there were many places that are either cliff, or covered with thick vegetation that doesn't allow access to people. Each time, Chris carried me on my back. To be able to jump over 10 meters while carrying a man on her back, and jumping from tree to tree is truly feats beyond what normal human can do. Just like that, we spent half day going around the island. And during that time I was able to make four fist-sized loaves of bread. We were also able to collect other wild fruits such as bananas and mangoes, so I put them in the rain wear hood and took them home. I should make a bag or something like a sack for later use. By exploring around the island, we found out that the circumference is about 25 kilometers, so it's not that big of an island. Also. As we thought, the island is uninhabited since we couldn't find traces of anything man-made. On the center of the island there's a small mountain, I think the altitude is less than 200 meters. Alright, we'll need to find a place to sleep tonight, but I want to eat some fruits first. All that walking around really made me hungry. Well then, please try some of these too. Along with the banana and mangoes, I took out a bread I just made. The one I made earlier was already cold. But this one was done only 10 minutes ago. There's still steams coming out of it. This. It's also created using your magic, Shiru? Yes. It's my first time trying to create this one, so I don't know how the taste will be. But, let's try teasing her a bit here. Even though I can't guarantee the taste because it's my first time, I did my best in making it. I put on the role of a hard-working cute boy. I wonder how Chris will react? Ku cute. Wow, that's a good reaction. Well then, shall we start eating, Chris Sama? Yee, yeah. We sat on the beach under the shade of a coconut tree, eating bread and fruits. By the way, I didn't know that some bananas have seeds. Like the one we're eating now, it contained many large black seeds. I wonder if this is the case with wild, uncultivated banana. Its taste is closer to Taiwanese banana than Philippine variant and had a fragrant smell. The mangoes that we ate were also ripe and taste very sweet. This bread is really delicious. It compares favorably with what we eat at the royal palace. It certainly is delicious. It's just a simple round bread but it has a nice chewy texture, and you can taste the flavor of the wheat. If I can produce this in large quantity, 
I think it's possible to live in this world as a baker. However, even if fruits and bread are delicious, I still want to be able to eat fishes and meat. I don't know if I can hunt with a bow and arrow, but I feel like I can do something like fishing. After all, I did manage to catch a talking flounder before. I should include fishing rod into my next crafting list. In the afternoon, we explored the mountain while I set my creative magic to make another bread. Earlier in the day, we found a stream went going around the coast, so now we're going uphill from there. Eventually, we came to a large bedrock area. It will be more convenient if there's a cave around here. I agree. This place is quite near to a river, so it's easy to get water. If it's too close to the water source there will be a lot of insects, so I think it's better to have some distance from the river. It will be bad if we get a disease like malaria. If possible, I want to quickly learn medicine production so I won't be worried. Well, too bad there's no cave around here. Otherwise it will be ideal. Even if I looked around. The only thing I could find was rugged flat rock. So what? If there's no cave, we'll just have to make it, right? Like before, Chris' hands glowed red. And just like that she cut the rock easily, like a hot knife through butter. Deciding to leave Chris with building the cave, I went back to pick up our things from the beach. It was the pot and coconut that I left in the grass. I should be fine by myself since there doesn't seem to be anything dangerous around here. On the way there, I found myself another banana which made me happy. When I arrived back, Chris has completed a splendid cave. How about it, Shiru? Do you think it's spacious enough for us? The entrance to the cave is cut rectangular. It also has a square cut window. The inside is about 16 tatami mats in size. 1 tatami mat around 18 ft 2 slash 550 square centimeters. It's more than enough. Ah, I see you also made a bed, a table and a chair out of stone. Might as well, right? Along the wall, there were tables and chairs that looked like box seats at a family restaurant. With this, we don't have to worry about where to eat. I then put the pots and coconuts I brought on the table. I'm thinking of putting something on top of the bed. I will look for dry grass later, maybe I can find some that can be used. A, just leave it to me. I have some idea with using the dry coconut leaves. While at it, I'm going to look around the river. Maybe we can find fish there. I found a lot of animal tracks on the bank of the stream earlier, which seems to be the footprints of deer, goats, and wild boars. Probably may animals come to the river to drink water in the evening. Hopefully we can have some meat tonight. As for the seasoning, there is the salt that is the byproduct of when I made fresh water out of seawater, so I should probably use that tonight. If I have enough MP in time. I'll try making herbs such as basil and thyme. I hope you can catch something. I'll try to make some bag to put the harvest in, so I'll look for plants that can be used as materials. I already have three loaves of bread. I'm working on the last one now. Currently, the experience gained is 72 one hundredths. If this bread is completed, it will be plus six experience points, so it will be 78 one hundredths. Bread production time until finished 0 21 and 17 seconds. If I search the forest looking for materials, time will pass quickly. Chris and I started doing our separate works. CH9 Chapter 9 Parting Ways August 29, 2022 Right now, I'd like to have a shoulder bag or rucksack to put the harvest in. Using the keyword search in the status panel, I found this. Hash 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 hash. Item production. Storage bag opening parenthesis can be carried on shoulder or back. LV.1 closing parenthesis. Category colon tools production opening parenthesis. LV.1 closing parenthesis. MP consumption. 24. Explanation colon A storage bag made from woven plant fibers. Production time colon 8 hours. Hash 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 hash. Since I have the suitable grass for material. I could shorten the production time to only 4 hours. And if I could complete it in 4 hours, that means I could finish it before I sleep tonight. Then after the bag is finished, I'll just wait for a while until my MP is fully recovered, and then set my magic to create bread for tomorrow morning before finally sleeping. It'll be time efficient, and we won't have any problem with breakfast. When creating same items, I can set my magic to make several items at once until it hit the MP limit. So I can set to create 6 loaves of bread and go to sleep. 6 MP per loaf of bread is 36 MP. Since now my max MP was 40 I can do it. When I returned to the cave, Chris was already there and finished laying the dry leaves on the stone bed. I'm home. Hey Shiru, 
check this out, tonight, we're going to sleep really well, certainly, that is many times better than the bench in the prison cell, there was only one king size bed, from the beginning, Chris had intended for us to sleep together, well, I'm happy with the arrangement too, by the way, what are you going to do from now on, Chris Sama, I had already heard the general outline of the plan in the boat, Chris intends to regroup with the 10,000 strong border guards stationed in the east and mount a counter-offensive. The eastern garrison is based in Bawanda Castle, which has a solid castle wall, and it seems that even the full might of Imperial Army won't be able to take it down easily. Certainly, I intend to go to Bawanda Castle as originally planned, though I can't confirm it. I think we were swept by the wave towards the southeast. So if we head east, we should be able to get back to mainland. Yeah, just like I thought. Just to make sure, but Bawanda Castle is already in a battle state, right? Unfortunately, it is. However, the last report that I heard was Bawanda Castle Army had dealt a heavy blow to the Imperial Army and forced them to withdraw. It can be assumed that the standoff continues even now. There is a fertile field within the castle walls and it is said that the stockpile can last for 10 years, so I'm sure it will be alright. After listening to Chris' explanation, I finally made up my mind. Chris Sama, please leave me here. Wow, this is something that has been on my mind for some time. I can't fight. Most probably I will only be a hindrance to Chris Sama, but Shiru. That's right. No matter how strong Chris is, she will get injured if she fights while protecting me. You don't have to worry about me. Chris Sama, food and daily necessities can be made with magic, and if my level rises, someday I should be able to create a high performance ship and be able to easily escape from this island. But that will still take some time, and Chris Sama is in a hurry, right? Shiru, so don't worry about me and say least. And then, reclaim your land. Shiru, I'm sorry. Chris hugged me tightly, clinging like a child. Chris is a princess. She has her own duty. I know that we can't decide our actions based on feelings alone. Besides, to be honest, I also didn't want to go to the battlefield. I like Chris, but, yeah, like I thought, I'd prefer to live a quiet life instead. However, you can't just leave right away. We'll have to prepare enough food and water for your journey first. Um, that night, we made a lot of love. Chris let out a satisfied sigh. Shiru. I think you're the type of man that every woman can ever dream of. Me? Well, that's unexpected. It's like what they say, chased by day, and lustful at night. For a woman, that kind of man will make her happy. Wow, what a crappy phrase. The audacity of it left me speechless. Dot wait a minute. I think back on Earth, I also heard something similar to the opposite of this. Maybe in the end, Everything in the world was just made convenient for those who hold the power. After we finished things and was dressing up, the usual announcement was displayed. Chime. Storage bag time until finished zero o'clock. Storage bag is completed. Please specify the location to appear. There was also additional announcement appeared. Chime chime. Creation magic has reached level two. Now this is what I've been looking forward to. Let's quickly check the status screen. Hash 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 hash. Creation Magic, LV.2. Acquired Experience, 31 one hundredths. MP55-55. Food Production LV.1 Opening Parenthesis CXP, 54 one hundredths. Closing Parenthesis. Tools Production LV.1 Opening Parenthesis CXP, 77 one hundredths. Closing Parenthesis. Weapon Production LV.1 Opening Parenthesis CXP colon 0 100 Closing Parenthesis. Material Creation LV.1 Opening Parenthesis CXP colon 00, 0 Closing Parenthesis. Glam Production, Medicine Production, Other, Keyword Search Underscore 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 Hash 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 my max MP has increased from 40 to 55. Now I can make things that I couldn't before because of lack of MP. However, I'm still unable to create gillums or medicines. Is it because the level of each category needs to rise? Or maybe the level of creation magic itself needs to rise? Anyway, there are a lot of necessary things, so let's make more and more and aim to level up. I changed the set of bread that I want to make from 6 to 9 loaves and then went to sleep. I think it will be finished just in time for breakfast. Now I want to have coffee for breakfast too. Is there a coffee tree growing somewhere here? Well, even if it doesn't grow here, I can still make it using creation magic, 
so let's try to do it sometime. Oh, that means I will need to create pots, cups, and so on. Maybe I should have just created a drip coffee from the start. For breakfast, we ate freshly baked bread and fruit as planned. Today, we're going to work hard to stockpile food. We don't even know how far we are from mainland, and we need water and food for about a week for Chris to travel safely. Chris went hunting in the forest, and I collected fruits while making water bottles to fill with water. The bag I just made yesterday is already proved itself useful for collecting fruits. For water, human being needs at least 2 liters of water a day, so that means 14 liters for a week. Hash 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 hash. Item production colon water bottle opening parenthesis small closing parenthesis opening parenthesis 4 liters closing parenthesis opening parenthesis cell v.1 closing parenthesis category colon tools production opening parenthesis cell v.1 closing parenthesis MP consumption 25 explanation colon unglazed water bottle production time colon 10 hours hash 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 one water bottle has 4 liters of capacity so I need to make four. The normal creation time is 10 hours, but if I use the soil on the ground, I can create it in just six hours. For now, I'll set my magic to create two bottles at once, so it can be completed by 8 o'clock in the evening. I won't be able to make bread for lunch, but there's no helping it. I quickly started the production of water bottles. After walking around the forest looking for fruits, I learned one thing. A knife is an absolute necessity for survival. Even picking bananas and the mangoes was difficult without a knife, so I tried to create a makeshift chipped stone knife by hitting a falling rock, and it's much better than not having a knife. I can cut mango vines easier with it. I can't make a proper knife yet because I don't have enough MP, so I'm thinking of using this knife carefully. I plan to later polish and upgrade it back at the cave. As I was sharpening my knife in front of the cave, Chris came back dragging a boar. Chris Sama, that's huge. It was so big that it's hard for me to drag it, let alone lift it. Yeah, I managed to kill it with a magic arrow, but now I'm troubled with something else. With what, if I may ask? I don't know how to dismantle it. Under her rugged personality, Chris is still a princess after all. However, the problem is I also don't know how to dismantle a boar. If it's a fish, I can pretty much do it though since I used to make a lot of dishes using fish. If I recalled correctly, we need to drain the blood first, but I'm not sure what to do after that. I think the next step would be to peel the skin off and take out the entrails. Right Chris Sama? Yeah. Should we try it out? The two of us moved the boar to the river and tried to dismantle it. Both of us were amateurs, so I think we lost many parts that were actually edible. But we somehow managed to finish dismantling it thanks to Chris hand sword. Its sharpness is outstanding, it easily cut through bones and skin. Anyway, the boar has so much meat, even its thigh meat alone was so much, we can't finish eating it off. Now, what should we do with the rest of it? Even if I want to preserve by curing it with salt, I don't have enough salt to do it. Since unfortunately we only had a handful of salt left from the process of making fresh water from sea water. Don't you think we can preserve it by smoking it? She's right, we can preserve it by smoking. Chris fell some tree using her sword hand and we made a large box. We then hung the meat inside and smoke it. Usually when camping, we use smokers made out of cardboard boxes, but here we have more wood than cardboard. For igniting the fire, I asked Chris to use her magic. Come to think of it, when Chris is gone, I won't be able to light a fire. I can make lighters with creative magic, but at the moment it's impossible due to lack of MP. Fortunately, I found something called flint using the keyword search which can serve as alternative. It seems that I'll be able to ignite fire using charcoal, sawdust, dry grass, and such. Let's make it when Chris is just about to leave the island. That night, I ate Yakinuka for the first time in a long time. The meat was a little tough, but I was impressed by the sweetness of the fat. Was meat usually taste this good before? Now that I think about it, it's been three days since I've consumed a decent amount of protein. Maybe it only tasted so good because my body was having protein deficiency. Later on, the two water bottles were completed, so I set my magic to create another two bottles and went to bed. It was my last night with Chris. Maybe we'll never meet each other again. I can feel that Chris was more passionate than usual. It's joyful and yet melancholic at the same time. This will be the last time for us to sleep in the same bed. To say goodbye is to die a little. I think it was the French who said that. Anne, 
Pada, Kuist Maranpe. I couldn't quite remember, but I couldn't put together any more words, because Chris locked our lips together with tears in her eyes. CH 10 Chapter 10, Shiru, All Alone August 29th. 2022. I awoke at dawn. When I turned to the side, my eyes met with Chris, who had just woken up in the same way. Good morning. Morning. Last night was really amazing. Yeah. It was embarrassing to be told like that. You've had me experienced so many first times, Shiru. It wasn't bad though. Yep, it wasn't bad at all. This princess, how could she say such things without being embarrassed? Chris had a strong appetite from the morning and munched on the roasted meat with bones. If I had a pot, I could get good soup out of those bones. Dot now I want a pot too. Mirrors, soaps, razors, fishing rods, flints, and pots. The things that I want and need keep coming one after another. I also want to eat vegetables soon. I don't think I'm having vitamins deficiency because I ate fruits, but if I'm going to cook, it would be nice to have a field to plant some vegetables. Since there are many things that need to be created, it would be better to increase the number of things that can be collected outside of magic. After finishing her breakfast, Chris filled the finished water bottle with water from the creek and carried it to the ship. We also brought a large amount of dry grass to make it into a cushion, and then loaded fruits and the meat that has been smoked overnight. During which, I was able to make the remaining two water bottles. After filling it with water and loading it, it's finally time to depart. I pray for your good fortune, Chris Sama. Shiru, please be well. I really wanted to take you as a concubine. I'm sure she's saying it with good intention, but I don't want that. I don't like the thought of being confined inside the palace either, so I just silently waved my hand. The ship carrying her steadily sailed further and further away and eventually disappeared beyond the horizon. And then, I was all alone. As I sharpened my stone knife, I started thinking about what to do next. It seems that doing simple work can do wonders in calming your feeling. As I moved the knife back and forth while pouring water on it from time to time, I was able to forget the reality that Chris was not here for a little while. For now, what should I do next? Luckily, I have plenty of meat and fruit. I've even found banana and mango trees that I haven't harvested yet. That's right. The first thing I should do now is to make flint. Right now, the bonfire that Chris made is still burning so it's fine, but if it goes out, I won't even be able to grill the meat. Fire is the first step in civilized life after all. With that in mind I started searching for flint. Hash 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 hash. Item production colon magnesium fire starter opening parenthesis flint closing parenthesis opening parenthesis cell v.1 closing parenthesis category colon tools production opening parenthesis cell v.1 closing parenthesis MP consumption 20 explanation colon a set of rod shaped magnesium and steel plates scrape the magnesium into powder in advance and sprinkle it on the dry grass or twigs to be ignited. By hitting magnesium against a steel plate, a spark is blown, and the powder is burned and ignited. Production time colon 20 hours. Hash 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 hash. If I use magnesium chloride in seawater as a material, it seems it can be made in 10 hours instead. Once I have one, it will last for a while, so let's make it right away. I set up the production of flint and return to the cave while picking up branches that could be used as firewood. Today was a very sunny day. The sun was setting in the western sky, dyeing the horizon red. Dusk is approaching little by little, and my fear is growing with it. Until now, Chris was with me, so I wasn't scared at all, but from today, I'm living alone. Chris left a sword for me, but I don't feel like I can use it properly. It's a long sword that seems to be about 160 centimeters. It's so heavy that a weak man like me can't even swing it. Right now. I'm having some regrets. In retrospect, I should have made the entrance door first instead of making the flint. Even though it seems that the only monsters here are slimes, there are also various animals. For example, if a wild boar like the one Chris caught, attacks me, I won't be able to defend myself. Magnesium fire starter time until finished 3.12 in 6 seconds. The flint will be ready around 8 p.m. It's already past half the time needed to create the flint. So I can't cancel because I feel like it's a waste, and the board to block the entrance won't be ready until tomorrow. After dinner, I had nothing to do. I made a big fire near the entrance of the cave, placed my sword by my side, and kept sharpening my knife. Even though I couldn't use it, 
Just having the sword next to me made me feel at ease. I tried to stay awake until the moment the flint is completed. Since the board to block the door will be made from wood, it is impossible to do tonight. I don't have the courage to go into the woods in the dark. That being the case, I wonder what's better to create right now. That's right, this long sword is too heavy to use, so it would be good to use it as a material to make spears, knives, and pots. An amateur like me can't handle swords well anyway which means a spear which have longer reach would be a better option. Let's turn the sword as a material for the spear. Hash 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 hash. Item production colon spear opening parenthesis cell v dot one closing parenthesis. Category colon weapon production opening parenthesis cell v dot one closing parenthesis. MP consumption, 29. Explanation colon a spear with wooden handle. Production time colon 15 hours. Hash 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 hash. If I use the long sword as material, the spear can be completed in 8 hours. When I quickly started the magic, the tip of the long sword suddenly gone. The missing part seems to be the amount used as the material for spear. Even after setting the magic for spear production, I still didn't feel sleepy, so I kept sharpening the stone knife. For the whole night I was frightened by the cries of animals, when I finally fell asleep it was already around dawn. Chime. Spear time until finished zero o'clock. Spear is completed. Please specify the location to appear. I woke up to the sound of the announcement that the spear was completed. When I checked the time, it was already noon. I think I overslept. While rubbing my eyes, I made the completed spear appear in front of me and confirmed the result. It was 270 centimeters long and has shiny tip. Iron parts were also attached to the part of the butt on the opposite side of the tip. I'm not familiar with craftsmanship, so I don't know much about spear, but I think it's a beautifully done. From now on, whenever I go to the forest, I will carry this spear instead of a cane. When I went outside, the bonfire was almost extinguished. So I hurriedly added more firewood. I hadn't used flint yet, so I didn't want to put out the fire until I got used to it. Just in case the flint didn't work like I hoped. After adding twigs and dry grass and blowing on it, the fire flared up again. Then I added a big branch and took a breather. I will run out of firewood soon. Once I have set my magic for new item production, I will have to pick up branches from the forest for firewood stock. Alright, let's create the entrance door which has been on my mind since yesterday. Even though I want to make a door, it actually can't be hinged, so creating wooden board would be just fine. It will just be a simple board that leans against the entrance, which is slightly bigger than the size of the entrance to the cave. If I use the tree that grows around here as materials, the board can be created immediately. MP consumed will be 18, and the process will take around one hour to complete. If I have it, I'll be able to sleep without worries at night. I quickly set the magic to create the wooden board and went out to gather firewoods. Hash 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 hash. Creation magic LV.2. Acquired experience colon 151 300. MP8 slash 55. Food production LV.1 opening parenthesis CXP. 54 one hundredths closing parenthesis tools production LV.2 opening parenthesis CXP colon 126 300 closing parenthesis tool creation time reduced by 3% weapon production LV.1 opening parenthesis CXP 29 one hundredths closing parenthesis material creation LV.1 opening parenthesis CXP colon 00, zero closing parenthesis Golem production medicine production are there CH11 chapter 11 Iwao Kun September 1st 2022 chime wooden board time until finished zero o'clock wooden board is completed please specify the location to appear i made the board to appear inside the cave and adjust it to lean against the doorway it's a bit hard to use but i'll have to make do for now i'll make something better next time when i have the chance adjusting the board and gathering the firewood made me hungry i still have some banana but I've started to grow tired of eating it. I started contemplating what I can do for dinner as I bit into the banana. I want to eat rice for the first time in a while. I'm not usually picky about food, but as I thought, I'm Japanese after all. TN, not craving for rice is not un-Japanese. Shiru, not craving for rice is un-Asian. Hey uh, yeah. By using the keyword search, I found that I could properly make rice. Hash 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 hash.
Item production colon rice opening parenthesis cell v dot one closing parenthesis category colon food production opening parenthesis cell v dot one closing parenthesis MP consumption 20 explanation colon cook rice opening parenthesis 200 grams closing parenthesis production time colon two hours hash 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 compared to bread creating rice takes a lot more of MP consumption and production time but I want to eat rice balls made with freshly cooked rice. Since I already had natural salt made from seawater, I decided to have rice balls as dinner tonight. Let's take a rest until my MP is full and then set the magic to create rice. I decided to go to the beach for resting, and maybe doing some exploration while I'm there. I once heard that various things usually get washed up on the shore. Maybe I can find something useful. With that in mind, I walked the sandy beach from end to end. I didn't find any useful flotsam, but I did find some seaweed that looked like kelp. I'm not sure if it really kelp or not but it sure looked like one, so for the time being I just pulled it up and dried it on a branch. I tried to take a little bite into it, but it doesn't seem to be poisonous. Maybe I can create some soup stock with it later if it seems to be edible enough after being dried. While feeling the sea wind blowing. The reality of me being all alone in this island hits me. Dash. Three days had passed since Chris has left the island. During that time, I've made a lot of things. Mirrors, soaps, razors, fishing rods, rice x6, bread x3, knives, pots, vegetables, and so on. By the way, the razor has three T-shaped blades. Thanks to that. I finally managed to shave my beard clean. It had been growing out so much before that it was uncomfortable. I thought that using soap in the stream would pollute the water, but the slimes soon came and absorbed the soap ingredients. They must have ingested my bodily waste products as well. Just like what Chris had said, slimes are indeed a beneficial monster. Also, what I found on the beach the other day was kelp indeed. It was really satisfying to be able to create a soup stock on the pot. I now frequently made soup by adding fish and shellfish together with green onions. And my status has changed into this. Hash 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 hash. Creation Magic LV.3 Acquired Experience colon 287500 MP108-108 Food Production LV.2 Opening parenthesis CXP colon 154300 Food Creation Time Reduced by 3% Tools Production LV.2 Opening parenthesis CXP colon 236300 Closing parenthesis Tool Creation Time Reduced by 3% Weapon production LV.1 opening parenthesis CXP 54 one hundredths closing parenthesis material creation LV.1 opening parenthesis CXP 43 one hundredths closing parenthesis glam production LV.1 opening parenthesis CXP colon 0 300 closing parenthesis medicine production other hash 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 did you notice? That's right. Gillum production was finally unlocked. It was finally possible to create Gillums after my creation magic reached LV3. I want to quickly make a Gillum today. Having a Gillum will somewhat relieve me from my feeling of fear and loneliness, even if it just a little. I can only make one type of Gillum at the moment anyway, so let's try creating it. Hash 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 hash. Item production colon stone gillum mass production type opening parenthesis small closing parenthesis opening parenthesis cell v dot one closing parenthesis category colon gillum production opening parenthesis cell v dot one closing parenthesis MP consumption 108 explanation colon a humanoid stone gillum able to receive instruction and work to some extent movement is slow but powerful can lift objects up to 500 kilograms. Production time colon 48 hours hash 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 hash. I think having this gillum will be useful for farming and road maintenance. Even if it moves slowly, it should be sturdy since it's made of stone. It might be suitable for base defense as well. I think I can sleep well just by having it to keep watch at the entrance of the cave like a bodyguard. During the 48 hours of gillum production process, I won't be able to use magic at all, but I really look forward to it. Almost two days had passed. Soon it will be the time when the long-awaited stone gillum will be completed. Maybe it's because I was in a restless mood, but I couldn't catch any fish no matter how many times I throw the hook. Every time, 
I always I found myself ends up staring at the time counter in the status window. Stone Gillum time until finished 028 and 12 seconds. It will be completed soon. I gave up on fishing and start preparing to go back to the cave. Fishing won't go well on a day like this. It has now become my habit to collect firewood along the way whenever I return to the cave. After I placed the firewood in its place and lie down on the bed, I started wondering. Has Chris reached Bawanda Castle safely? Well, with how strong she is, I'm sure she'll be fine. As long as there was no hindrance, like me. Dot that's right, we had been sleeping together in this bed. Now that I'm alone this bed feels awfully wide. When I think about it now, it seems like a dream that the two of us were innocently enjoying ourselves here. Chime. Stone Gillum time until finished zero o'clock. Stone Gillum is completed. Please specify the location to appear. You are. I was so immersed in erotic memories that the announcement of Stone Gillum production completion surprised me. If I make it appear here, the Gillum may not be able to go outside. So I quickly went out and make the stone gillum appear there. The gillum that appeared had a round body. Its height is about 170 centimeters tall, a little taller than me, but the parts such as the torso, arms, and legs were much thicker than my waist. The ratio of the lower body to the upper body is 1 to 1, and only the head is a little small. It doesn't have fingers on its hands, but it has four movable parts that allow it to hold tools. It's like doll made from stone. I think it's better to give this guy a name. It's made from stone, so maybe I can call it Oiyuasan? No, it's the name of a female ghost from folklore, and it looks manly, so it won't be a fitting name. T.N. Iwa means stone. I think it's better to call it Iwa. Can you understand my voice? Iwa bends over and nodded a slightly. All right. From now on your name is Iwa. Got it? This time it replied by raising its right hand. Somehow it looked like it's happy. Well, that made me happy too. All right Iwa, let's go for a walk at the beach. Follow me. When I started walking, Iwa followed from behind. His walking speed isn't slow, but he didn't seem to be able to run. We passed through the forest and reached the coast. Iwa immediately showed his ability by moving a fallen tree to one side. I pointed to the white sand beach. Take a look, this is the Crescent Coast. Remember it well. I named the place where Chris and I landed the Crescent Moon Coast. It's because the white sandy beach was long and curved. Iwa looked around the place as if trying to familiarize itself with the terrain. I did the same and looked around also. I think I've gotten used to the scenery from here, little by little. It has become my living area, although it's a completely different landscape from the Wayseda area where I lived just a week ago. Suddenly. I my eyes caught on a foreign object over the horizon. As I look over the ocean's horizon, I spotted something like a ship. No, that's really a ship, no doubt about it. After observing it for a while, the size of the ship became bigger and bigger. Maybe it's heading toward this island? If the people on board were decent people, then I would welcome them with open arms. But if it's the type like the female soldiers from before, then I don't want to be seen by them. For the time being. Let's put out the bonfire so there won't be any smoke to attract their attention. Then I'll hide in the shadows to observe the situation. I wow, quickly head back to the cave. I didn't notice it when we first came here, but I wow's movements is actually slow. No matter how fast it tried to move, its max speed is only about 7 km per hour. CH12 Chapter 12 Pirates September 1, 2022 In a panic, I put out the fire with water from the Greek, then I made Iwa wait at the cave's entrance and return to the coast. The ship was closer than before, its shape can be seen more clearly now. It's at a distance that if I went out to the beach now, I would certainly be seen from the ship. I wonder what kind of people are on the ship. At times like this I wish I had a telescope. Let's write it on the list of things that I want to create next. Dot. Dot come to think of it. I have neither paper nor pen here. I wonder which one I should create first. It seems like there's still long way ahead until I reach a proper civilized life. As I continue observing while hiding in the bushes, the ship anchored off the coast of the island. Probably that's where the sea level is shallow enough so the ship can't get any closer without scraping the bottom of the ship. The people working on the ship look small from here, but it seemed that they are all women. All of them were wearing pants and no one was wearing skirts. Don't women in this world wear skirts? Oh, come to think of it, the noble woman who captured Chris was wearing a skirt. I think in this world, skirt is like formal clothes for those in high position. That aside, 
What kind of people are in the ship anyway? No one wears a uniform so probably not soldiers, fishermen, perhaps, or, in worst case scenario, pirates. I can't tell from the clothes they're wearing. Some of them were wearing clothes similar to t-shirts, and some are not wearing anything on the upper body and showing their skin. From afar, their tanned skin looked attractive, but now is not the time to get excited by it. Since I can't be sure what kind of people they are, I really hoped these people weren't bad people, but unfortunately, my premonition was spot on. TN, really Shiru, there's a possibility that a band of pirates arrives at your doorstep and you're getting excited by a chance for some shagging. Truly a man of culture. Among the people coming from the ship, there were only two people who were dressed decently, like a captain in a pirate movie. TN like I roll Captain Jack. One of these two must be the captain because she seemed to be giving instructions to the people around him. Was the other one a vice captain or a chief navigator then? Before long, a boat was lowered from the ship. As I thought, they intend to land on this island. Alongside the two well-dressed women, eight sailors also boarded the boat. When they finally landed on the shore, the captain-like person quickly gave orders to the others. Anne, Louise, keep the boats tied up. Hillary, Thatcher, you guys go and confirm the position of the river we saw from the ship. The rest is to explore the island with me. If there are some game animals here, we'll hunt them. I, can. Just as I thought, that red-haired woman seemed to be the captain. She had brown skin and a rather harsh look in her eyes, but she's quite a beauty. She had a large body, slightly taller than me, and her chest was bigger than Chris. Quite a wonderful island isn't it? Captain, we're lucky to find a place like this off the map just as we were being chased by the Navy. The only FS-kinned woman among the bunch was talking to the captain. I think the other crew regarded her as the vice captain. The vice captain was also quite beautiful, but I get the impression that she's a bit mean. Indeed, Janus. It's a really good hiding place we found here. We could even use this island as a new base of operation. Being chased by the Navy? New base of operation? These guys were really pirates. Do you intend to live on this island? That would really bother me. If possible, I don't want to have criminals as neighbors. No thank you. Can you please just go away somewhere else? Oi. Don't slack off. We're heading out to explore soon. The captain scolded his subordinate who was sitting on the spot and walked away. My heart skipped a beat as she passed by the place where I was hiding. Yeah yeah whatever. The scolded sailor muttered and stood up. Her body was stout, and even though she's a woman, her arm was twice as large as mine. As she passed by the bush I was hiding in, I could hear her complaining. TCH, what an overbearing woman. Why don't you kiss my ass instead? One of these days I'll get back at you. The group didn't seem to get along very well. Well, they're pirates, so the group atmosphere would be totally different compared to a tight-knit girl group. TN, no shit Sherlock. After hiding in the bushes for a while longer, I hurried back to the cave. Actually, I wanted to follow the pirates, but I was afraid that I would quickly be found out when following them. As soon as I returned to Iwire, I started packing. I was planning to hide in the mountains until they leave, so I packed many important items in storage bags. Mirror, razor, knife, pot, soap, file, things that were easily obtainable back on earth is now really valuable here. I also took all the fruits I that had. Is there anything else I forgot to bring? Ah. The fishing road. Hiking with a spear in one hand and a fishing rod in another is difficult. Maybe I should just bring the spear and hide the fishing rod somewhere in the woods. When I finished all the preparations and left the entrance, I suddenly ran into one of the sailors. She was on the beach earlier. Her eyes went wide open in shock, but eventually the corners of her mouth rose. I could see her yellow, misaligned teeth. A guy. There's a guy. Hey everyone. There's a guy here. The female pirate was screaming. Her spits flew from her ragged teeth. I hurriedly returned to the cave while holding my spear. I wow, guard the entrance. If anyone tries to enter, attack them. After giving orders to I wow, I yelled toward outside. Please don't come near here. If you try to force your way in, the stone gillum will go on a rampage. The female pirate flinched at the sight of I wow, but her lustful gaze was still directed at me. What happened? Why are you yelling loudly? The red-haired captain I saw earlier arrived with her crews. Damn it, it's too late to run away now. He, there's a cave in a place like this. Is there anyone living here? I stood by the small window and shouted out again. Please don't come in here. If you try to force your way in, the stone gillums will attack. The female pirates looked surprised. Hey, 
It's a man right there, in it? Is that a stone golem? Can that stone doll really moves? I quietly gave orders to I wow, I wow, raise your hands and try to scare them. I wow took a banzai posture. Since it didn't have mouth, it couldn't speak. But even though it's not too intimidating, you really tell it's a real stone golem. Don't mind the stone golem, we can crush it easily if we gang up on it. That man, he's quite a looker, right? Look at his smooth skin. I'm getting excited now. I want to quickly make him squeal. The captain suddenly punched the subordinate who was making a fuss while making a disgusting face. You idiot. You think I would allow you to assault a weak guy? Doing such thing is beneath us. Everyone was suddenly silent as if frozen in place. You there, rest assured. We only stop in this island for restocking our supply. We'll soon leave after we found some water and meat. I won't let anyone harm you. The captain seemed like a decent person. But I'm not so naive to just take her words for it. After all. One does not simply work in a black company and retain their naivety. I understand. You can get water from the small river over there, and if you need some animals to hunt, there are deer, goats, and wild boars around here. You can hunt as much as you want. Ah, we'll do that then. I'm sure you must be afraid, but I won't lay a hand on you so please don't worry. All right crew, let's go on our way. After the female captain gave the order, the rest of the pirates then followed her and left the area. Some of them were leering at me until the end though. But I'm glad that I was somehow saved. Although it's too soon to say that the situation is now completely safe, at least they wouldn't be able to enter easily while I wow is here. Since I can make food with my magic, for the time being I can end you being holed up in the cave. CH 13 Chapter 13, Rebellion September 13, 2022 T N this chapter is in third person pof. Also, I'm trying to use anchor links so I could insert translator's notes without disturbing the story. Please tell me if you think it's better to not use it instead. Female pirates Fudge and Buten sat around a bonfire on the beach. The pirates stopped by on the island only to rest and resupply, but already secured both meat and fresh water by noon. They're currently relaxing in their favorite spots stuffing their bellies with venison they her cord while hunting. That hurts. Fudge frowned in pain as she sipped her rum. She poured some wine over the wound from being beaten by the captain earlier in the day. You all right Fudge? Yeah, the wounds aren't that bad, but the captain's attitude really pisses me off. Acting all high and mighty like that. Here here. She also yelled at me for just resting a little bit. So hysterical, just like a man. 1. Bouton also recalled being yelled at on the beach and her eyes lit with hatred. The two can only complaints behind the captain's back, since they didn't dare to complain directly even though they have many grudges toward her. This is because on top of being one of the strongest among the pirates, Cecily was also well known for being a good navigator and skillful in using battle tactics. She's also known as Burst and Flame Cecily. Even if they wanted to attack her in her sleep, there is little doubt that she would be able to turn the tide on them. That much is certain. Cecily might be a pirate now, but rumor has it that she was once a high ranking naval officer in some country. But still, that guy wasn't really bad looking at all. Fudge began to talk about the man she had seen during the day in order to dispel her bad mood. Buton also responded immediately with a lewd smile on her lips. Yeah, I want to mess him up him real good. Hey, hey, you're bigger no? If you assault him, one of his bones might break. The two let out a vulgar laugh. What are you talking about? Men with face like that are actually pervert. Even if he says he doesn't like it at first, he will ends up enjoying it anyway. Buton's opinion was selfish and prejudiced, but he was correct in that Shiru was actually a pervert. Shiru was a man who simple-mindedly follows his sexual interest. The problem was that Buton was way out of Shiru's strike range. Two. But still. What a waste. We could have just done something with the stone golem, and the guy would be free for us to do anything we like. Yeah, yeah, too bad the captain just had to act like a bloody gentleman and ruined our chance. Just because she's a bit good looking she thinks she's better than us? Yeah, even though she likes to be the one assaulted instead when in bed. I heard she has that kind of hobby. You're kidding right? Where did you hear that from? You know that boy named Louis at the bar? Heard it from him. That boy? He really told you that? He he he. Last time we're at the port I forced him to do it with me. That was when I heard about the captain's hobby. Buton recalled a memory of her dark desires. Ha 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 aren't you cruel? But the captain liked to get assaulted, means she's a pervert, 
right? That's right. Acting tough and all that, in the end she's just like a meek guy. In the end, the conversation between the two reverted to bad-mouthing the captain. But as they sensed someone was approaching, they immediately shut their mouths. It would be bad if the captain found out they have been insulting her behind her back. They nervously waited for the person approaching, and it turned out to be Vice Captain Janice. You guys are idiots. Your voice was too loud you know. What are you going to do if the captain heard you talking just now? The two went pale from what the Vice Captain just said. Mom, it was only a joke, you see. Yeah yeah. It's not like we were serious about it. Janice stopped the two who were trying to make excuses with a grin. Don't worry, I know. It's not like I don't understand what you girls feel. I mean we've finally managed to fend off the Navy's pursuit. There should be nothing wrong with a having bit of fun with a man, right? Fudge and Buten slapped their knees in agreement. That's right. If we were allowed to do that, the morale of our group would rise. Janice nodded and put her arm around their shoulders. It's just as you said. Don't you think the captain is a little too inflexible? Janice's A's glowed suspiciously. Actually, I have prepared a secret plan. Something that you two might be interested in. The three women lower their voices into whispers, so no one could eavesdrop their conversation. In the dark of the night, a terrible rebellion was underway. It was midnight. Captain Cecily was awakened by Vice Captain Janice's panicked voice. Captain, terrible news. What's gotten you so riled up in the middle of the night, Janice? Janice's voice was serious. It seems some of our crew has gotten diseases. Cecily jumped up at those words. Who got sick? Anne, Hillary, and Fudge. And Buten, too. Damn. Four people are sick? Cecily created a fireball in her left hand and rushed over to the sick crews. Their face and arms were covered in red spots. Cecily never seen anything like it before. This is bad, their condition seems terrible. What should we do? Should we just leave them on this island? You idiot. We can't do such terrible thing. No choice but to kidnap a doctor or healer from somewhere to treat them. The captain's answer was exactly what Janice had expected. In that case, We'll have to carry them back to the ship. Let's turn one of the cabins into a sick room and seal it off. I agree. Anyway, let's take them to the boat. While saying that, Cecily approached the heaviest of the four. Buten, I know it's painful but try to endure it. I'll carry you back to the ship now. S. Sorry. If it was the usual Cecily, she might have seen through Buten's bad acting. Had it been during the day, she might have seen that the rashes on their faces and arms were just red dye. However, the dire situation of plague outbreak, and the darkness of the night with no moonlight has hampered Cecily's judgment. All right, hop into my back. The flames of the bonfire lit Cecily's exposed back, which was defenseless. Bouton pretended to stagger, took out a concealed knife, and thrusted it deep into her back. Ugh. The moment she was stabbed she instantly kicked Bouton away from her behind, but Cecily already suffered a deep wound. You bastard, what do you think you're doing? Nobody answered her question. Instead, magic attacks and arrows flew from all directions. Normally, Cecily would have been able to dodge all of them and counterattack, but the wounds inflicted by Buten were painful so she's not able to perform as usual. In particular, the wind cutter fired by Vice Captain Janice was so powerful that it broke through Cecily's defense and cut her thighs. I see, so that's how it is. The enemies were five people, Anne, Hillary, Futch, Button, and Janice as their leader. In other words, these girls who said they were sick were rebelling against her. We don't think you're fit to be our captain, Cecily. That's why we're going to have you die right here, right now. Cecily responded to Janice's provocation with a calm smile. Do you really think you can beat this burst and flame, Cecily? Section Pilkrow. Along with the spell, a huge amount of magical power gathered in Cecily's palm. Get away from her. She's going to shoot explosion magic. Janice screamed while taking cover. Janice knows too well Cecily's power of explosion magic, which has punched holes in numerous enemies' warships. However, the magic did not fly towards Janice and the others and was directed toward the ground instead. An explosion occurred accompanied with a resounding roar. Everyone was blinded by the soaring dust clouds. Cough, cough, shit. I can't see anything. Don't attack, we'll hit our own. Where did she go? When the sea breeze cleared the dust and the landscape cleared, Cecily was nowhere to be seen. Sick, she escaped. Explosion magic is powerful, but it's not something that can be fired in rapid succession. Considering the exhaustion caused by the bleeding, Cecily must have temporarily withdrawn. Janice, what are we going to do now? Fudge waited for instruction, 
while Janice was assessing the situation with a cunning face. Cecily was badly wounded, but there was also the possibility that if she forced her into corner too much, Janice might receive a painful counterattack instead. If that's the case, then no need to chase her further. The captain's already severely wounded, she won't survive on her own. No need to risk ourselves to chase her. Let's return to the ship. We'll tell everyone on board that the captain caught a disease. The other four nodded at Janice's words. They're still afraid of what Cecily might do if they were to seriously fight with her. You people, what the hell did you do to the captain? Louise and Thatcher, who weren't on their side, were staring at Janice and the others in a stunned state. Janice announced loudly with a grin, from now on, I am the captain of the ship, three, and gave her first order. As a captain, you four, dispose of Louise and Thatcher. The brutal carnage bared its fang in search for new blood to be spilled. CH 14 Chapter 14 Nursing Translator's Notes And now we're back to Shiru's Poff. Even after the pirates had left me alone, I never set foot outside of the cave. Even if the captain said that she won't attack me, I don't think I can't just trust her like that. There's the possibility that I might get attacked the moment I let my guard down and wander off outside. Even if some of the pirates were beautiful many more weren't. Besides, I don't like being forced to do things I don't want. I can't possibly satisfy ten pirates at once, and if I ask them to stop, they might force me to keep going by using the strange magic instead. That, is nothing but a nightmare to me. So I decided to just wait and see for now while stay holing up in the cave. That being said, I can try experimenting with my creation magic while being a hikikomori. 1. It would be an effective use of time. Since there's a lot of things that I want and lots of things that are important to have right now, the first thing I made was torch. The thought of pirates lurking in the dark would make it impossible to sleep because of fear, so I wanted to have as much light as possible. It consumes 15 MP and takes 40 minutes to create, so I set my magic to create four of them for now. From my wows back, I looked at the direction of the forest but couldn't feel any sign of pirates. Still. I don't know if they will return here. Should I make I wow some weapons to increase my defensive ability? Making I wow to throw stones for long range attacks is also a good idea, or so I thought. When I tried to make I wow throw some stone, the stone landed just in front of it because the movement was too slow. Although it can lift large rocks, it seems that I wow is not good at throwing things, so maybe it's more of a tank type gillum. In that case, a shield with thorns might be a better option. As I use keyword search I found the option to create large shield. Hash 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 hash. Item production colon large shield opening parenthesis cell v dot one closing parenthesis. Category colon weapon production opening parenthesis cell v dot one closing parenthesis. MP consumption. 56. Explanation colon a large shield with a total length of 200 centimeters. Production time colon 18 hours. Hash 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 hash. 18 hours to make it. I have enough food for now, but I want to keep my options open just in case of emergency. Although I can cancel the magic in progress, I don't like the idea of losing 56 MP just like that. Alright, let's put the large shield on hold for now. I kept thinking back and forth about making the shield until evening came. The curtain of the night had fallen and the area was pitch black. When I tried to light the newly made torch and hung it in front of the cave, surprisingly the area was becoming much brighter than I thought. Instead of just giving a dim light, these torches turned out to be super useful. I wow, if there's an intruder coming, stop them no matter what. After giving I wow many similar orders, I made two more torches. Thanks to that, my tool's production skill has increased to LV3. My status was now like this. Hash 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 hash. Creation Magic LV.3 Acquired Experience Colon 485 500 MP 108 slash 108 Food Production LV.2 Opening Parenthesis CXP Colon 154 300 Closing Parenthesis Food Creation Time Reduced by 3% Tools Production LV.3 Opening Parenthesis CXP Colon 26 500 Closing Parenthesis Tool Creation Time Reduced by 5% Weapon production LV.1 opening parenthesis CXP 54 one hundredths closing parenthesis material creation LV.1 opening parenthesis CXP 
43 one hundredths closing parenthesis, Gulam production LV.1 opening parenthesis CXP colon 108 300 closing parenthesis, medicine production, other, hash 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 hash. My creation magic will reach LV4 soon and leveling up seem to be going well. However, I'm not feeling happy, that's because of the pirates. I really wish they'd leave soon. In the middle of the night, I was awakened by the sound of an explosion coming from the coast. The torches in front of the cave were still burning, so visibility was good. I've told I wow to light a new torch whenever one was about to go out, and it seems to have followed the order faithfully. What was that sound? What did the pirates try to do? Even if I thought about it, I couldn't come up with an answer. Unable to go back to sleep, I spent all my time looking out the window, just in case. I wore the storage bag on my head and put the pan on top of it, hang my knife on my waist and held a spear in my hand. I know I might look ridiculous, but I was completely serious in trying to be on alert. I only thought that I'd use whatever available to increase my survival rate, even if just a little. It's been a while since I heard the loud explosion. I was so nervous, so I spent the whole time being wary of the outside. I just hope nothing bad will happen. Perhaps because I was in a constant vigilance, my senses seemed to be more sensitive than usual. I suddenly felt the presence of someone, which is something that I normally can't do. Who's there? I think I heard someone breathing from the direction of the forest, but there was no response. I wow, raise the torch higher. When I wow did what I told, the visibility improved a little and I could see the someone's shadow. Who? Who's there? A figure emerged from the forest and slowly approaching while dragging its feet. What appeared was a red-haired female pirate. Sto, stop right there. What do you want? It looked like she's alone, but what is she doing at this late hour? Don't tell me, she's coming for a night visit. Too. Although I'm just a pirate. If I may be so bold. I wonder if I can ask for your help. The red-headed captain breathed out the words. Upon closer look. Her face complexion which was illuminated by the torch was pale. Also, her thigh was bleeding out. Wait, are you hurt? Well, this is embarrassing. But I was betrayed. By my crew. The captain had a self-deprecating smile. It looked like she's really hurt, both literally and figuratively. I don't think she's only acting. I'd like to help her, but if this is a ruse, then I'll be in danger. What if? Oh, to hell with it. I can't, in good conscience turn away someone who needs help, I wow, let her through, it's all right now so please come over here, the captain walked unsteadily, as I thought, she's really hurt, and the bleeding looked really bad too, be careful, I supported the captain who's about to fall, sorry for troubling, I thought I don't mind dying as pirate, it seems I'm still clinging to life, that's all right, please stop talking for now, let's get you to bed, I laid the captain on the bed and checked her wounds, you have wounds on your thigh and back, yeah, I let my guard down, what should I do, even with my creation magic, I still can't create medicine, I can create bandages, but it would take 35 minutes, unfortunately, there is no medicine here, I told her honestly, but the captain slowly shook her head, it can't be helped, it's an island after all, right now, I'm pouring all my magic power into body reinforcement magic. It's far from healing magic, but I heard that wounds would heal faster like this. I see, so even immunity and regenerative capacity can be improved using body reinforcement magic. I have more mana average person. If I'm lucky I can probably make through this. The captain had terrible wounds, but she still hasn't given up on living. If that's the case. I have no choice but to do what I can to help. I understand. I promise to do my best to help you. For now, let's stop the bleeding in the thigh. I want to remove her clothes so it wouldn't get in the way of treating the wounds, but I can't just take it off. I'm going to cut your clothes with a knife to check the wounds. Stay still. Using a knife, I carefully cut off the blood-stained clothes. Finally, her brown thigh became exposed, and I can see the large wound. Considering the size of the wound. I feel that there is little bleeding. I don't know how deep the wound is, but it's more than 10 centimeters long. That's because I'm using body reinforcement magic. I would have bled to death otherwise. Just like I thought. Having magic is an op, cheat-like ability. Anyway, I'm going to tie the upper thigh, tightly to stop the bleeding. I've already set up my magic to create the bandage, but I don't have time to wait for it. Using a knife, I ripped the pants off to make a string and tied it up slightly above the wound. I could see her intimate area, 
but I didn't feel horny in the slightest. Afterward, let's use the water created by magic to wash away the wound. While I was washing away the wound on her back, I finished making the bandage. The captain fell asleep while I was performing amateur first aid. Or maybe she fainted instead of sleeping? I couldn't tell the difference since I'm not a doctor. One shut in. As in a person who won't go outside his, her room for prolonged length of time, maybe even weeks. Two night visit, or yo by, for a man to slither into a woman's bed chamber for secret night activities, like playing Uno card. CH 15. Chapter 15. Straight Laced Pirate. September 18th. 2022. Cecily, that's the name of the female pirate captain. She has been sleeping for three days straight without eating anything. I've been vigilant the whole time, but the other pirates never showed up. I'm still feeling worried though, so I made another stone golem. After I finished the production of the new golem, I decided to have golem number one to guard the house and golem number two to gather food and fetch water. By having two IOs, my current defensive capabilities have now doubled. Thanks to making new Golem, my creation magic level has increased to LV4, but there was no change other than my max MP increased to 178. I wonder if Cecily would wake up soon. She's been sleeping for a long time, but since her breathing is normal, I don't feel too worried about her condition. I also feel like her complexion has somewhat improved. I'm thinking that since she hasn't eaten anything in a while, she won't be able to suddenly eat solid food. I'm thinking of making a mango juice for her, so let's have IWOW number 2 to collect some mangoes. By using creation magic to produce the mango juice, it'll only consume 1 MP and can be done in just 3 minutes. No need for a blender or a slow juicer, and it even come with its own clay cup. No fuss, no muss, completely convenient. It's also better than doing nothing while I stay cooped up in the cave for 4 days. The morning light shone upon Cecily's sleeping face. Looking at her face, I think that she's really good looking. She also has a nice style. Even her breast size was so voluminous it would even surpass Chris's size. I estimate it's about G cup. And how would I know that? Well it's because I saw those mounds when I was changing the bandages. No no, I wasn't being naughty or perverted. It necessary for medical treatment. Dot necessary for medical treatment. Yeah let's go along with that reasoning. Anyway. I decided to shave my beard to try and calm my heart down. Using the bucket of water that I had fetched, I lathered up the soap, and start shaving my beard. As I shave off the foamed beard, I feel refreshed. I can see my face and the rest of the room through the reflection on the mirror, and my eyes met with Cecily's, who was staring at me. Did you wake up already? So, sorry. I didn't mean to peek. For some reason. Cecily turned red and averted her gaze. Why did she look ashamed? Peeking? Of what exactly? You, you were removing unwanted hair, and I accidentally saw it. Removing unwanted hair, did she mean the act of shaving? Back on earth, it'd probably be like a boy accidentally witnessing a girl trimming her armpit hair. Come to think of it, half of my face still had foam on it. Please wait for a while. I'm going to shave off the rest of my beard. Wait, no. It's not supposed to be done in front of a woman. She looked like an unruly female pirate, but could it be that she's actually prim and proper on the inside? I don't mind, you can look if you want. No, no, I can't possibly. Wow, she's really blushing, her face was beet red. And so I shaved the rest of my beard while enjoying Cecily's embarrassed reaction. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Alright, I have prepared a mango juice for you. Since it's been a while since you last ate. Please drink it slowly. I held the cup in my hand and supported her body from the side. Sorry for troubling. Cecily took a sip and smiled at me. It's good. It tastes really sweet. I feel like it permeates my whole body. That's good to hear. Please continue drinking it slowly. Cecily gulped down the juice little by little, but she let out a tired sigh. Is the wound still hurting? Only a bit, if I try to raise my hand. It was basically a serious wound. It wouldn't be surprising if someone died of such wound. And yet she managed to regain consciousness in only three days. I think magic is such a cheat. I'll hold the cup for you to drink, so don't force yourself. No, wait, you don't have to. An injured person should just quietly follow what the caretaker says. I helped Cecily to drink all the mango juice. I'm really grateful. Come to think of it, I haven't heard your name yet. So what's the name of the person I'm indebted my life to? I'm Shiru. Shiru Sanada. Shiru, 
Ha, huh, that's a really beautiful name. That's the first time I heard someone say my name is beautiful. There's nothing cute about the name Shiru. It's the opposite. It's a very masculine-like name. Sometimes I even feeling inferiority complex about having such a name. Are you trying to sweet talk to me? What? No, I honestly think it's a beautiful name. I don't have any ulterior motive. Cecily quickly denied. She shook her head so vehemently to deny it. I'm afraid her finally closed wound will get reopened. Maybe it's better if I don't tease her too much. Just kidding. Now, please lay down again. It's better for you to sleep a bit more. A. Hey. All right. I put my hands around Cecily's stiff back and helped her lie down. She must have been tired from drinking and talking after sleeping for three days. Soon, Cecily fell back to sleep. Well, what should I do for now? I want to replenish my food, but I don't feel like going out yet because there might be pirates. Maybe it's better to have I well number two to collect food instead. Number two, go out and get some fruit. Also, if you come across a log this thick, Bring it back with you. I'm planning to have the log to be made into clubs. Of course, it won't be for me, but for Iwaos instead. Iwao number two quickly left the cave after receiving the order. The golems may look rough, but strangely they look cute when I see them obediently following what I said. No problem with the fruits then. Should I make some porridge for Cecily later? I can only think of porridge for food that doesn't put much burden on the stomach. Is there anything else that an injured person would need? Suddenly I realized that Cecily's condition still doesn't allow her to move too much, in which case, a urinal would be necessary. I did a search and found it in the tool making category. Hash 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 hash. Item production colon urinal opening parenthesis cell v dot one closing parenthesis category colon tools production opening parenthesis cell v dot one closing parenthesis MP consumption. 22. Explanation colon urinal made from pottery. Production time colon 1 hour opening parenthesis reduced by 5% with level correction closing parenthesis. Hash 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 hash. So, because of level correction, the production time will be shortened by 3 minutes. Let's give it a try. If I keep leveling up at this pace, I'll soon be able to create various other things. I'll be able to expand my repertoire. Hence. I set my magic to create the urinal with such excitement. Chime. Urinal time until finished 0 o'clock. Urinal is completed. Please specify the location to appear. Let's set it to appear near Cecily's grotch. Just kidding. No way I will do something so vulgar like that. I'll just put it under the bed so it wouldn't stand out. In the last three days, I have prepared various daily necessities such as plates, towels, and food. So my status looked like this. Hash 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 hash. Creation Magic LV.4. Acquired Experience Colon 372 500. MP 156 slash 178. Food Production LV.3 Opening parenthesis CXP Colon 8 500 Closing parenthesis Food Creation Time Reduced by 5%. Tools Production LV.3 Opening parenthesis CXP Colon 151 500 Closing parenthesis Tool Creation Time Reduced by 5%. Weapon Production LV.3 V.1 opening parenthesis CXP 54 one hundredths closing parenthesis material creation LV.1 opening parenthesis CXP 43 one hundredths closing parenthesis glam production LV.1 opening parenthesis CXP colon 216 300 closing parenthesis medicine production are there I'm going to reach level 5 soon the number 5 sure does have a nice ring to it Right? That's why I'm thinking that maybe there will be a new development, something like medicine production and other category unlocked when I reach LV5. I'm also curious about Golem production. If I make another IWOW, my production level will increase to 2, maybe it will unlock the option to create another type of Golem. It will take 48 hours to create IWOW though, so I won't be able to create anything else in the meantime, which means the situation right now doesn't allow me to do it. Yeah. Since food is my top priority, I can't go out, so I can't fish, and on top of it Iwao isn't always successful in bringing in fruits. While thinking back and forth about it, I set my magic to create Cecily's porridge. CH 16 Chapter 16 Please enjoy your dessert. September 18th, 2022 T slash N Boy, this chapter has lots of translator's notes.
Also I was thinking of using Strike Throw I for medicine production to explain that it's currently locked, but it seems hard to read so I'll just resort to the old medicine production. It was the morning of the sixth day since Cecily arrived. When she first came, she was so exhausted that she couldn't move, but now she didn't leave any porridge behind and had recovered enough to eat solid food. Now, it's time to change your bandage this morning. It's morning lewd time. Just kidding, no no. This is a medical treatment. Please do. I think the wound has already closed though. The pain in my body is already gone. What's left is only a terrible itching. Half in doubt, I took off the bandage and found that the wound had really healed. Body reinforcement magic was really nothing to scoff at. Wow, that's amazing. Yep, this is the way it should be. Cecily flexed her biceps in both arms. She's being completely naked by the way, so not only her biceps are bulging, her ample bosoms were also bulging. Even my little Joe started to bulge. Thank you God, the world is a wonderful place indeed. Shiru, you really took care of me. I wish I could give you something in return as gratitude. Don't worry about it. You've already kept your promise and didn't do anything to me, even though you're a pirate. HMPH. That's because Shiru doesn't seem to have anything valuable. My principle is to never attack poor people, you know. It seems that Cecily is a woman of principle. She only targets rich people and make an absolute rule to never steal water and food. That's right. Although I don't have anything like gold or silver treasure, I do have some money hidden that I can give to you. Or maybe you want to go somewhere instead? If you're able to get your hand on a ship, I can take you wherever you want. It's a nice offer, but I have no intention of leaving the island right now. For the time being, I was planning to spend some time here practicing creative magic. If that's the case. Can you take me as your husband? Stu, stupid. You're not serious right? Who wants to be a husband of a pirate anyway? Ahaha. <laughs> Cecily's serious reaction was very amusing, that's why I ended up making this kind of joke. Certainly, living a life of waiting for pirates who have gone out to sea may be a bit unbearable. If you keep saying things like that, I might end up pushing you down, you know. I know for sure that you won't though. That's right, Cecily won't push me down since she has promised not to lay a hand on me. That seriousness is so much like her, but I'm feeling a bit frustrated because of it, since I'm ready to accept it if she really wants to push me down. That being said I don't have the courage to start the initiative from my side. 1. Well, I have an idea of what to ask from her. That's right. Can you teach me how to operate a ship then? A ship, being a sailor is a woman's jobs, so I don't think anyone would want to hire you. Most ships don't allow men and it was the same on my ship. Not a big ship, only something small like a canoe. It'll be useful for fishing and getting around the island. I have no intention of becoming a crew member of a large ship, much less a pirate. It might be fun to wear a straw hat, but I don't want to be a pirate king too. That makes sense. Shiru, do you have a canoe? Not yet. I plan to make some day. Then I will make one for you. If I can't at least do that, then I can't say I've properly returned the favor. But, if you can lend me a knife, I can make a canoe within a day. It seems that it can be made relatively easily by applying body reinforcement magic and other attribute magic. If so, then let's take her up on her offer. Is your condition really, already fine? It's fine. Here look, I get it, I get it, so stop sticking your chest out. I think my little Joe is going to burst soon. After talking with Cecily, we decided to check the condition outside. Cecily, do you think those pirates are gone by now? Most probably they have left me behind on this island to die. If they had intended to finish me off, it'd be weird for them to just waiting for me to recover. They should have attacked here from the beginning instead. What she had said really makes sense, and now I'm feeling stupid for holing up in this cave for six days while feeling scared. No, wait. This is fine. What a person needs to do in order to survive in an ice kai world is to hammer at the stone bridge, kick it, then put on a rope as a lifeline before finally crossing it. I think that much of caution is necessary. 3. When we arrived at the beach, the pirate ship that was moored offshore was nowhere to be seen. I had brought along two Iwas armed with club, but it seemed it was unnecessary after all. Cecily went looking for tree trunk to make a canoe. So I decided to go fishing for the first time in a while. Fishing with two golems standing guard beside me, it feels like I'm a VIP. Or is it? MMM yeah, I don't think it gave off such serious impression. Stone statues standing in a southern island. 
it gives a more relaxing atmosphere instead, like the Moai statue on the East Island. I chose a rock along the shore that looked comfortable and sat down to cast my fishing line while looking out over the ocean. It had been a long time since I had been outdoors, and I felt refreshed and energized. Shiru, I found a good log. When I turned around, I saw Cecily carrying a huge log. S stupid, what are you going to do if the wound opens? Don't worry, it's all good. I'll start my work here. Dropping the log with a thud, Cecily took out knife. What are you going to do now? I'm going to hollow out the inside of this log and make a canoe. Won't it be taking a long time and a lot of effort? Pilkro Pilkro. Is that some kind of spell? Cecily started to use fire magic to burn the log. The flames erupting from the palm of his hand charred the surface of the log black. After burning the log for a while, she then used a knife to carve out the burnt part. I think burning it with a flame helped make it easier for Cecily to scrape out the log, and combined with the body reinforcement magic, her knife steadily produced wood scraps in large quantity. If it's like this, I think she would really be able to make the canoe in just one day. Cecily was concentrating so that I won't disturb her I went back to fishing. At the same time, I prepared ingredients for dinner by using food production. Tonight's side dish will be fish soup. It would be quicker if I could just make the fish soup without cooking, but it seems it's still impossible with my food preparation level, so I have no choice but to prepare the ingredients such as onions, garlic, tomatoes, and flour one by one and cook it myself. I caught a white fish called Nems today. 4. The size is about 40 centimeters, so it's enough for two people to eat. After cutting it into small pieces, I sprinkled it with salt, and lightly coated it with flour. Heat the olive oil in a pan and put the garlic in. After the garlic aroma wafted out put in the coated fish and sautéed it. Add chopped onions and stir fry them together until the onions become translucent, then add water and let it simmer. It would be better if I had white wine but I couldn't make it by using my creative magic at the moment because the level wasn't high enough. Before serving the dinner, I added chopped tomatoes and salt to complete the soup. I then added some bread that I've made beforehand to make it a fine dinner. I took the soup pot and went to the beach where Cecily was working. The food is ready, dear. WHWHWH who are you calling dear? We're not married couple. As usual, Cecily's reaction was really cute. I don't think I'll ever get bored of teasing her. Please eat it before it's cold. I've made tonight's dish a bit special. Eh, hey, alright. Thanks for the food. I handed a bowl of soup to Cecily, who was gloomily sitting on a rock. She quickly ate her food, maybe she's hungry after all. How was it, is it delicious? Ye, yeah. Do you want a second? Yes. Cecily looked a bit weird. What's wrong? No, nothing wrong. Could it be that, she fell for a man who can cook? Five. Should I tease her a bit more, Cecily? Would you like to have me as a dessert? Dot 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 gh. Cecily suddenly got a nosebleed and collapsed. She was then quickly carried by Iwos back to the cave. It seems like she has a maiden-like heart. While taking care of Cecily, my magic reached LV5. Hash 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 hash. Creation magic, LV.5. Acquired experience, 398 one thousandths mp 278 slash 278 food production lv.3 opening parenthesis cxp colon 361 500 closing parenthesis food creation time reduced by 5% tools production lv.3 opening parenthesis cxp colon 194 500 closing parenthesis tool creation time reduced by 5% weapon production LV.1 opening parenthesis EXP, 84 one hundredths closing parenthesis material creation, LV.1 opening parenthesis EXP, 43 one hundredths closing parenthesis Golem production, LV.1 opening parenthesis EXP colon 216 300 closing parenthesis medicine production, other, hash 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 hash. My level has risen again but I still can't make medicine. That's too bad because I was really looking forward to it. Maybe I need to raise my level even more, or is there some other condition needed to unlock it? Well at least something good happens, which is my individual bread making level went up to LV2, 6, probably because I was making bread every day. Thanks to this, the cost of making bread was reduced from 6 MP to 4, and the time to make it reduced by 5%. Combined with the food production level correction, 
It's a 10% reduction. It used to take an hour to create a bread. But now it only takes 54 minutes. Maybe if the level keeps going up like this, it will be possible to create bread in a matter of seconds. CH 17. Chapter 17. Ancient Ruin. September 23, 2022. The canoe was ready by noon the next day. Cecily really managed to finish it in just a little over a day. Shiru. Do you want to try boarding the canoe now? Sure. After I had Cecily explained how to use the paddle to row the canoe and what to do if it capsizes, the two of us embarked on the sea. Since the waves are calm, let's go around the island along the coastline. Perhaps because Cecily's teaching method was good, our canoe glides smoothly across the sea. Colorful flowers bloomed on the shore and entertained our eyes. I've walked along the coastline with Chris before. But it was the first time I've taken a good look of this island from the sea. Shiru, does this island have a name? I wouldn't know, since I got drifted here. Then you should give it a name. I think Shiru Island would be fine. No way, naming it as Shiru Island would be a total embarrassment. I don't want it to be named as Sanada Island either. 1. I have no desire to show off, but it's true that it will be inconvenient if the island doesn't have a name. Let's see. There's mountain in this island so. Yamada Island? 2. No, that's too simplistic. I know. Rather than using my name, let's use Chris' name as another discoverer of this island. Thus, let's call this island as Monte Chris Island. 3. We departed from the cove of the Crescent Moon Coast and headed for the south side of the island. Seems like there are many steep cliffs on this side. Ah, don't get too close to the cliffs yet, you're still unfamiliar with canoeing. There were many cavities in the cliff which have been eroded by waves and become like caves. That's amazing, it looks like a secret dock. Don't you think it could be used as a base for submarines or pirate ships? 4. If the waves were a little calmer, it would be possible to hide a ship here. Huh? Cecily stopped paddling and stared at one of the caves. Is something wrong? I thought I saw something like a stairway in the back of that cave. If there's a stair, that would mean there's someone on this island right? Even though it's been over 10 days since I came to this island, I've never met a single person who's a native here. Shiro, let's check it out. It'll be swaying a lot. Be careful. Cecily skillfully maneuvered the canoe into one of the caves. The waves were rough near the entrance of the cave but calmed down as we went deeper. Look, it's over there. Cecily, who created a fireball in her hand, was pointing to the left. It was a staircase carved out of a natural rock wall. No matter how you look at it, it's not something that happened naturally, but made with a human hand. Only that, it looks really old. Let's go and check it out. Cecily jumped out of the canoe first, then pulled me up. There are no signs of monsters or humans but be careful. If something happens just stay behind me. Yes, it's okay, I'm nervous but not to the point where I can't move. I had enough space to admire Cecily's slightly larger buttocks as she climbed the stairs ahead of me. There was a large hole at the top of the stairs, and the sunlight was pouring down. It gets brighter with each step, and when we had climbed all the steps, we found ourselves on the sheer cliffs we had seen from the sea. The sea was about 15 meters below us and I was paralyzed with fear of height. It feels like my legs turned into jellies and unable to walk properly. I'm sorry, Cecily. Let me hold on to you for a while. I'm such a wimp, I can't even handle high places. If it were on earth, everyone would think of me as a miserable man, but Cecily just smiles and let me do as I please. Rather, she seemed happy to be hugged by the waist. Viva eyes Kai world, are you scared? It's okay. Cecily tried to embrace me but was a bit hesitant. Thanks to that we were now in an awkward position where the side of my head was pressed into her chest. This is bad. In a different way. Now I'm unable to walk properly due to different reason. After enjoying the scenery from the top of the cliff, I turned my eyes to the forest in the opposite direction. I wonder which part of the island we are currently now. Most probably. Our position is around the south of your cave, Shiru. I had never been to the south of the cave because it is densely forested. So if I keep going south from the cave, I'll come out to this place huh? Maybe it'll be a good idea to have Iwa to clear the path to here, since it seems I can catch a lot of fish here. Can we take a look inside the forest? There may be some fruit trees. Cecily nodded with a smile. After walking over the large rocks towards the forest, there was a stone pavement that was clearly man-made. The corners of the stone had weathered over the years, and the surface was partially covered with sand and grass, but the path continued into the forest. Cecily, 
This is, I think we'll be fine, but don't let your guard down. Walk right behind me. Cecily started walking with a slightly nervous expression. Within five minutes of further walking, we came upon a clearing in the forest, and a large building were in front of us. It's a small ruin-like building made up of huge stones and the stones themselves were decorated with reliefs. The detailed pattern is no longer clear because it's already weathered, but it must have been carved with an elaborate design at the time it was made. The height of the ruins was about 10 meters. There were five steps in front, leading to a stone door. It looks like a South American ruin. I feel like it resembles the buildings of the Mayan civilization or the Aztec civilization that I saw on TV. No, this is not a ruin. Cecily was trembling. But it doesn't seem to be because of fear, since she had a ferocious smile like a hunter finding a prey. Then, what is this building? This is a dungeon. Never have I thought there would be an untouched dungeon in a place like this. Cecily, unable to contain her excitement, looked around the building. However, this made me uneasy. Dungeon is, you know, something with lots of traps and lots of monsters, right? Yep. And lots of treasures too. They might be treasures there, but monsters are scary. Cecily. Don't tell me you intend to go inside. There won't be any monster jumping out just as you try to open the door, right? I certainly hope not. Don't worry. It would be unthinkable for me to try to enter the dungeon alone. I need to gather some friends first. And there are things I need to do before that. Cecily's face darkened. Dot is it. A revenge. Yeah. I have some debt to settle with them. Besides, that's my damn ship. I don't think fulfilling her revenge will make Cecily happy. However. If she can't move forward without doing so, well, first of all, we're going to need a ship if you want to get out of this island, right? Dot you're right, Cecily said so without looking at me in the eye. Alright, I'll make a canvas so you can use it as sail in your ship. I'll help you get back into the sea, Shiru. Hash 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 hash. Item production colon canvas. Category colon material production. MP consumption. 75. Explanation colon A tough cloth used to make sails for ships. Size 4 meters by 8 meters. Production time colon 14 hours. Hash 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 hash. Using the trees on the island, it is possible for Cecily to make a simple ship. However, a canvas is another thing, there's no way she can create it by just using anything on the island. Since she'll be going to travel long distances, Body reinforcement alone won't be sufficient since she can't possibly row all the way across the ocean. However, with sail made from canvas and wind magic I'm certain she'll be able to reach her destination. Shiru. If I, if I have finished with my revenge, can I return here to this island? Certainly. At that time we will have another toast with mango juice. And next time, I would heal not just Cecily's physical injury but her emotional injury too. I thought so from the bottom of my heart. CH18 Chapter 18 Farewell, Cecily September 23, 2022 The entrance to the dungeon on the southern side of the island is currently being sealed. Cecily might be able to open the door but, she decided not to, for caution's sake. I want to quickly gather companions and start exploring the ruin. But isn't it dangerous? Well, that's true. But the treasure you can get in a dungeon is great. Moreover, it's an untouched dungeon, so it's a chance to get rich quickly. Cecily was really burning with enthusiasm. Even if it's a chance to quickly get rich, if we die that'll be the end of it. I haven't even had children yet. 1. That's because Shiru's a man. As a woman, even if we have to bet our life on it, we still want to try to get treasure. Dot actually. That's more because I'm a bit of a coward and have nothing to do with gender. I don't want to risk my life for a treasure, and I don't really like adventures or thrills. Anyway, just don't overdo it. Ah, don't worry. Next time I'll gather some people I can trust. And I won't bring someone who would do anything weird to you, Shiru, so rest assured. I'm happy that Cecily was being considerate of me, but actually as long as the person she brings along is my type. I wouldn't mind if they do something weird to me. Of course, I like beautiful women, but a charming girl or easy to talk woman are also my type too. I like younger girls, but I don't dislike those who are over 30 years old and have an aura of hard worker. I guess I'm just being too indifferent with types of girls too. No, let's just say that I'm a man of culture. 3. If Shiru's fine with it. I'd love to if you can allow me to stay at your cave again next time. Sure. If that's the case, I'm going to make an inn so your party will have a place to stay. That'd be great. Shiru's in, huh? 
I'm sure it'll attract a lot of customers. I see. To start an inn on this island, for those who come here. I don't think that's a bad idea. It took four days to build Cecily's ship. It's about six meters long and have a mast and sail. However, I'm worried if it can hold out should a big wave appear. This is an inland sea, so the waves are not that high. Well, if a pirate who is an expert in the sea said so, it should be true. Maybe this sea is like a Mediterranean sea back on earth. Aside from making the canvas, I also made barrels to store drinking water. During the time with Chris I was only able to make her some clay water bottle, but it is too vulnerable from impact. That time I was unable to create water barrels due to insufficient MP capacity, but I'm now able to create it without problem. Hash 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 hash. Creation magic, LV.5. Acquired experience. 987 one thousandths mp 278 slash 278 food production lv.4 opening parenthesis cxp colon 174 800 closing parenthesis food creation time reduced by 7% tools production lv.3 opening parenthesis cxp colon 495 500 closing parenthesis tool creation time reduced by 5% weapon production lv.1 opening parenthesis cxp 84 one hundredths closing parenthesis material creation lv.2 opening parenthesis cxp colon 18 300 closing parenthesis golem production LV.1 opening parenthesis CXP colon 216 300 closing parenthesis medicine production dash other dash hash 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 I only need another 13 experience points before my level increase again I should be able to reach it by tonight Cecily is going to leave Monte Chris Island today so I was thinking of making a nought ahem an artistic figure of course the models are Chris and Cecily. I can actually make them out of clay. Moreover, the category will fall under Gillum production. Unfortunately, it won't be able to move, for, since it's only a figure model, it can't move autonomously like a Gillum, and it seems like I can only freely design the shape of a Gillum after I reach significant level in Gillum production. Shiru, I've finished loading, Cecily reported with a slightly lonely look. I'll finish my work soon too. Please sit down and wait. I was in the middle of preparing lunch. The menu is meat from the boar that Cecily had caught, and turnip soup. I had preserved the meat in salt, and over time, it develops an isamami flavor. Guess I won't be able to eat Shiro's cooking for a while, huh? I'll be sure to increase my repertoire by the time you come here next time. If I increase my level enough, I should be able to make alcohol, and other dairy products such as cheese. Anyway. We seem to have less conversations for today's lunch compared to usual. I saw Cecily off on the beach. Shiru, I was really in your care. Cecily smiled and waved. Until the end, she really didn't lay a finger on me. Though it feels a bit disappointing, I also like this serious side of her. But still, I really wish you had pushed me down and assaulted me during the night. For my last prank, I pulled Cecily closer hugged her and gave a kiss on her forehead. Shiru, what are you? It's a charm for safe sailing. Cecily was surprised by my sudden action. A charm? Really? Yes. The people in Izu do it as a charm. Needless to say, it was a lie. I'm sorry, people of Izu. I will definitely return here. Yeah. I'll be sure to make a place for your heart and body to recover. I will also welcome your companion. I saw off the boat as it drifted away in the wind until I could no longer see it. As the flocks of seagulls flew among the parting waves, I prayed in my heart. I hope that somehow, the prayer will somehow reach instead of me. I prayed for the safety of Cecily and Chris while I listened to the unceasing roar of the sea. 5. I reached level 6 when I was making oil for cooking. My max MP has increased to 309, but there is no other development. Alright. Since I've secured plenty of food, let's start working on the golem soon. Since Cecily left, the feeling of loneliness has increased so much, I don't even feel like making erotic figures anymore. Thinking that it might be a little livelier if there's another eye wow here, I begin to set up my magic to create another stone golem. Once I begin stone golem production, I wouldn't be able to create anything else for the next 48 hours. I was planning to work outside during that period. But the next day it started raining in the morning. I still have the rainwear that I brought from Earth, 
but I didn't feel like there's any reason for working in the rain. Only the Iwos were working silently in the drizzling rain. They were preparing to make a small field in front of the cave, clearing stumps, moving boulders, such kind of heavy works can only be done by them. The figures of Iwos working under the rain. They look somehow lonely. No, that's not it. Golems have no heart, so I guess I'm the only one who's feeling lonely. That's why the vision that's reflected in my eyes was tinged with sadness. Since I had nothing else to do, I went to the stream to get some water, but it was muddy since the river's surface has risen due to rain. This can't be used as drinking water. I've underestimated the importance of having water supply since I thought I'd always be able to create water with my magic but situation like this can happen too, I guess. I also have to consider the possibility of having a drought, so I'm going to have to make a water tank next time. I decided to put three water jars outside to collect rainwater. It was fun to hear the sound of Pochin, Pochin, 6, it's just like music. Come to think of it, there is little entertainment here. No games, no music, can't even watch a video. Maybe I should try to make a playing card. When I was in elementary school, my father once taught me how to play cards alone. At that time, I was really engrossed in mobile games so I wasn't even interested in playing cards. But now I feel like it can help me to alleviate my boredom. Well, that would be something I can do after I finished making the gillum. I hate rainy days. And so I remembered many things and cried. 7. CH19. Chapter 19. Gillum Rush. September 29th, 2022. T N. Feels like my progress per chapter is getting slower. Instead of needing four days to complete two chapters, I now need more than a week to complete it. I now have three Iwos, so I have been feeling more secure. The sight of having three Iwos lining up at the entrance of the cave was spectacular. I equipped Iwal number one and number two with the usual club, and I ordered the newly produced Iwal number three to hold the torch. It's becoming hard to tell which Iwal is having what number. So I guess I'll need to create some paint soon to mark the numbers on them. My current status was like this. Hash 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 hash. Creation magic. LV.6. Acquired experience colon 117 1500. MP 213 slash 321. Food production. LV.4 opening parenthesis CXP colon 196 800 closing parenthesis food creation time reduced by 7% tools production LV.3 opening parenthesis CXP colon 495 500 closing parenthesis tool creation time reduced by 5% weapon production LV.1 opening parenthesis CXP 84 one hundredths closing parenthesis material creation lv.2 opening parenthesis cxp colon 18 300 closing parenthesis golem production lv.2 opening parenthesis cxp colon 24 300 closing parenthesis golem creation time reduced by 3% medicine production other hash 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 I've finally raised the level of Gillum production and unlocked the option of new Gillum creation. Hash 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 hash. Item production colon stone Gillum type S opening parenthesis small closing parenthesis opening parenthesis cell V dot one closing parenthesis category colon Gillum production opening parenthesis cell V dot two closing parenthesis MP consumption. 115. Explanation colon a humanoid stone golem, able to receive instruction and work to some extent. Power output is small but agile, dexterous and able to do detailed work. Production time colon 49 hours. Hash 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 hash. It seems to be a different type of stone golem than I wow. I still had some salted meat left and there's no tool that needs to be produced immediately. So I decided to continue ahead with producing the new type of gillum. I'm glad that since my gillum production is level 2, the time needed to make gillum is reduced by 3%. Usually, it took 48 hours to make iwow, but now it takes 1 hour and 26 minutes less time than before because of the 3% reduction. The next day, we continued to work on the creation of the fields. Well, I said we but actually it was the Iwos that were working. The number of workers had increased, so the efficiency of the work also improved significantly. In the space where trees and stones had been removed, humus was brought in from the forest. Iwa then ploughed with its hands, 
preparing the field to be planted with potatoes, if I remember correctly. Potatoes are robust and easy to grow. I think I grew them in the school field when I was in the third grade of middle school. If I had known it'll be like this, I would have listened to my teacher more seriously about how to grow potato, instead of just playing around making mud dumplings with my stupid classmate Yoshida-kun. Let this be a lesson for all of you guys, don't be like me. Listen to your teacher. Since you'll never know, you might get swept away to another world someday. 1. After two days passed. The new gillum finally completed. Chime. Stone gillum type S time until finished 0 o'clock. Stone gillum type S production is completed. Please specify the location to appear. It's finally here. I know it says that its size is small, but let's make it appear outside of the cave just in case. The gillum that appeared was smaller than the Iwos, it's only about 140 centimeters tall. Although described as humanoid, it looked more like a monkey. Its movements were similar to those of the Japanese macaques we had seen at Monkey Mountain. It's said that you're agile, but how much can you move? So I asked the golem, and it responded by quickly doing some as all twice. Yep, it's a monkey alright. A stone monkey, to be precise. If that's the case, its name will be Goku, too. He seems to be dexterous, so I am sure he will be of great help for small tasks that the Iwas are unable to do. I have high expectations for his work from tomorrow. I felt like eating rice for the first time in a while, so I set the table and went to sleep that night. Another half month has passed. My living conditions have improved considerably. It should be noted that my cave now has proper door and window, thanks to Goku doing a great job on it. Goku was much more dexterous than I expected and could do carpentry work without problem. Thanks to him. The inside of the cave has been remodeled. Wooden frames have been put on the wall to partition it, so now there are two rooms. The small room has the size of about four tatami mats, three, and the rest of it becomes the large room. The small room was where I put the bed filled with memories of Chris and me together. In other words, it's my private room. The big room was for welcoming guests. That being said, I placed two bunk beds there along with tables and chairs. I also hang a sign on the wall. Welcome to Monte Chris Island Shiru's Inn. With this, I'm ready for Cecily's return. I sometime wondering if Chris would return here, but I understand that there's no way she would do that. After all. The fate of 10,000 Eastern Garrison soldiers' lives rests on her shoulders, and she's not the kind of person who would throw that away and return to this island. Things have been going well, but two weeks ago something surprising happened. That was, Iwao number one suddenly stopped moving. I thought I saw something like a red blinking light around the chest area of Iwao number one, and around an hour later it stopped moving. When I tried to check its status. Turned out there was nothing wrong with it and only ran out of energy. After I put my palm on the blinking area and injected MP into it, Iwao wow number one started moving again. Looking back on it now, it's kinda funny, but at the time I was really surprised. Well, it's a given that a gillum would need of energy to move, right? And it took around 50 MP to replenish it. That means I would need to plan ahead to regularly replenish MP for all of my gillums from now on. 4. After checking the status panel, I found out that I can instead replenish the Gillum's energy by using magic stones, which is a crystallization of magic power. However, I have no idea where to find magic stones, I can probably acquire them if I kill some monsters, but I don't think I'm able to do it. Maybe I can get some by killing slimes? No, that's also impossible. The slime in the river had become a part of my life. They purify the water and clean up my household waste. I even have a strange feeling of kinship with them because they grow up on my waist. And I don't know is it because they have gotten used to me, but nowadays they don't even get bothered by me when I approach them, and they swim beside me when I bathe in the river. That's why, there's no way I can start hunting them now, and so I decided to put the matter of magic stone on hold for now. Well. I'm not in urgent need of magic stones at the moment anyway. I was thinking that it was time to start cattle ranching after having agriculture as addition to my hunt to gather a lifestyle. I was fishing on the beach as usual when I spotted a huge creature flying in the sky. A bird, number, it was, Pteranodon, and there was three of them. They looked a lot like the Pteranodon models I had seen at the museum, and were flying toward here in unison. Don't tell me. Are they looking for prey? I immediately raised my fishing rod and jumped into the bushes. Goku, who was nearby, followed my lead. Goku, 
tell the Iwos to be fully armed and on standby. Goku, who could not speak, nodded his head and walked into the forest. He could move from tree to tree like a monkey, so he should be able to reach the cave in no time. Well, I said fully armed and on standby because it sounded cool, but in reality it's just Iwao's usual regular club. That's because I was more focused on improving living condition instead of Iwao's equipment. Next time, we might have to increase spending on defense. 5. CH20 Chapter 20 Welcome to Monte Chris Island. September 29, 2022. Phew. Finally reached Chapter 20. Let's hope we can reach the target of Chapter 30 by end of October. The three Trinodons, temporary name, were getting closer and closer and began circling over the island. However, upon closer look, I could see that there were saddle like objects placed on their backs, and there were people on it. They seemed to be scouting the island from the sky. Perhaps they were looking for a place to land? If so, there was a very good chance that they will land on the Crescent Coast, since it has the most open space in Monte Cris Island. I held my breath and watched as the three Tyrannodons were preparing to land and descended toward the Crescent Coast. It's possible that they've noticed my cave since the area around there have been cleared out of trees to provide more sunlight. My decision to prepare a field that may have backfired. Still. Not everyone in this world is out to assault me like the female soldiers or the female pirates, and some might even be decent people like Chris and Cecily. If that's the case, then I should steal myself as much to make first contact with them. As expected, the three Tyrannodons landed on the beach. I guess they needed a long runway like airplanes to land and take off. They were running down to the beach with their footsteps making a thudding sound trying to break their speed. I don't think they'd be able to fly off vertically either. As the Tyrannodons lowered its wings, the people riding them dismounted and checked their surroundings. Louise, don't let your guard down. We don't know what danger might lurk around here. Also, remember that Wyvern is most dangerous when dismounting. Yes Captain. The Captain seemed to be a woman in her forties. She looked calm, collected and has an air of dignified beauty. Meanwhile the girl called Louise was a teenager around high school age, and apparently a rookie. Also, the animal they mounted turns out to be wyverns, not trinodons. Come to think of it, it looks a little more elongated than a trinodon. No enemy around here. Should we go to the field we saw from the sky above? If there are people here, that's probably the only place they could be. A woman in her late twenties asked the captain in a slightly nasal voice. She somehow gave impression of a flirtatious girl. Not a ladies man, so a men's lady instead. One, let's do so. Look, there's a road leading towards the field. That's the road that I wow had built. In this condition there's no way the cave won't be found. If that's the case, it's better to give a greeting and try to give a good impression. Besides, the captain and the girl called Louise doesn't seem to be bad people. And the flirty girl didn't seem to have bad personality either. Hello there. I got out from the bushes and tried to greet them in slightly cute manner. Did I act too out of place? The three of them were startled by my sudden appearance, but they seemed to lower their guard because I was a man and I had nothing in my hand. Sorry to surprise you with such a sudden visit. We are a survey team from the Ayugoa Empire's National Land Administration and Research Institute. I am Captain Alyssa Milano. Ayugoa Empire, that's the enemy country of Kingdom of Regalta that Chris belongs to. I am Shiru Sanada. I live alone on this island. You live alone here? Really? The flirty girl shouted. How come you're here all alone? Captain Milano was staring at me with serious look. No way I can tell them that I got here because I was escaping from the Empire's dungeon together with Chris, their enemy's general. I was stranded here when I was a child. I blurted the lie without thinking. But your clothes look new despite what you said. I was wearing the same chinos and cotton shirt I wore when I came from Earth, although it has considerably worn out, it's still fairly in good condition. That's because. It's not like this island is completely cut off from the rest of the world. On rare occasions, Pirate and the merchant ships stopped by for resupply. I did some barters with them. Was that good enough of an excuse? I see. Since it's bad luck to let a man on board a ship, nobody has rescued you until now. It must have been hard. I don't know what kind of superstition it was about, but at least they accepted my explanation. Yes, thankfully there's a lot of fruits on this island. There were also goats, deers and other animals. And I can catch a lot of fish here. By the way, 
Have you ever had a tax collector coming to this place? Excuse me, I'm asking if you've ever been asked to pay taxes. I'm sorry, I don't even know which country this island belongs to. I see, this place belongs to the Ayugoa Empire. I don't know what form it will take in the future, but keep in mind that you are a subject of the Ayugoa Empire, too. No point in disagreeing anyway so I just obediently nodded. Does that mean? I'll have to pay taxes from now on? The flirty girl interjected in response to my question. If they came all the way here to collect the taxes it'll instead put them in huge loss. Don't worry, nobody will come to collect anyway. Leanne, stop saying things thoughtlessly. That's for the higher-ups to decide, not us. Yes, even though she's being scolded by Captain Milano, she didn't seem to reflect on it at all. By the way, Shiro. Is there some place we can rest? We haven't had any time to eat either since we've been on survey flights since early morning today. Well then, please come to my house. I then led the members of the survey team back to the cave. When we returned to the cave, we were greeted by three Iwas standing guards with clubs in their hands. Iwau, these women are guests. Stand back. At my words, the Iwas who was blocking the entrance opened the way. Shiru. These are? They're my golems. Golems? Shiru. You're a man, right? That's right. In this world, there are no men who can use magic. By that logic, there are probably no men who can use a golem. Well, I don't know why, but they listen to what I say. Maybe it's perverted golems who likes men? HMMMMMM. So that kind of thing can happen too, huh? Captain Milano, aren't you too easily convinced? What's this? Welcome to Monte Chris Island. It's called Shiru's Inn. Leanne made a fuss when she saw the sign. Do you even have guests at a place like this? No, not a single one yet. You are the first people I've taken to this place. Then that would mean I'm your first woman, right? He he he. The flirty girl stepped into the cave while caressing my buttocks. To think that she would sexually harassing me this soon. Leanne. Leanne was getting scolded by Captain Milano again, but she just stuck out her tongue. I'm sorry Shiru. Since we've always been on a mission. She hasn't seen any man for a while. That's why she's a little excited. Captain, you're being too strict. You'll understand when you become a mother, you don't feel comfortable when someone tries to flirt with your son. So Captain Milano already has a son, huh? Well considering her age, it's nothing strange. If I may ask, who's taking care of your child? My husband, of course. He's taking care of our son in our hometown. The answer was as I expected, but with this it's clear in this world. It's the father's role to take care of their children. I served them tea made from an herb called citrus grass. 3. Cecily taught me about the herb before. It was growing in a sunny spot in the woods, so I transplanted it to a corner of the field. Herbal tea made with it has a refreshing citrus aroma and a sour taste. Since this is an inn, can we order a meal? Of course, we will pay for it. I hope you don't mind if I bring out what I have in stock. Anything is fine. All we have is water and dried meat. We prefer something tastier than that. I'm certain they only have portable food. In that case, let's prepare something delicious for them. In the past half month, I had built a kitchen outside of the cave. There were three stove tops and a cooking stove with a roof over it. There was also a water bucket nearby, and when the water ran low, Iwa would fetch water for us. I still had ten loaves of bread which was made yesterday, so I could serve them with the main dish. I'll make a simple dish by using the fish I caught morning, sprinkled with salt, dredged in flour, and sautéed in olive oil and garlic. The fish's head can be used for the broth together with onions, and if I had some mashed potatoes it will turn into a hearty soup. 4. Goku, go wash the vegetables in the river. While I was immersed in cooking. I heard the voice of the flirty girl from the direction of the cave. Like I thought, the sight of a man cooking really gets me going. He has a nice sass too. Don't you think so Louise? We, oui. well, when the rookie's eyes met mine, she turned bright red and looked away. What a refreshing reaction. Louise, if you ask him to do it maybe he'll let you, you know. It'll be your chance to graduate from virginity. The sexual harassment comments from the flirty girl Leanne continued for a while. But she finally shut up when Captain Milano gave her a hit in the head with a bewildered expression. But still, Louise Chan is inexperienced, huh? Will she become a witch if she's still a virgin by the time she turns 35? Ah oh, that's right, in this world, women are born as witches. Louise was not particularly beautiful, but she had a simple face and was very likable. Don't worry Louise, 
You're pretty. I'm sure you'll end up with someone in no time. And if you want to graduate quickly no matter what, you can always come to me. Probably this is how it feels to be a bewitching any sans who chases after young boys, well this is because the genders in this world are reversed. And so the smell of garlic and roasted white fish filled the air. CH 21 Chapter 21 Hospitality October 15, 2022 Translator's Announcement Alright first, I need to apologize for the delay in new chapters. Basically I'm really busy with works again. Probably until end of October which means there's a real chance I won't be able to meet my target of finishing CH30 by end of October. Sigh. Second, shout out to Final Advance and Mester Bill. Thanks for the comments guys, it's things like that that gave me motivation to keep doing this translation. Now I know that my grammar is, at least, good enough for you to keep reading, which has been my point of concern from day one. Please enjoy the next chapter. A small cheer erupted as I brought the food to the table. Wow, that looks delicious. The bread actually already went cold before, but I reheated it again in a warm oven. This way, the bread regains a little of its fresh baked softness. Dot. Huh? Even though they were all excited before eating, after taking a bite of the bread, they all fell silent. Duh. Captain Milano muttered, delicious, this is really good, I, this is the first time I've ever eaten a bread like this, now that I think about it, Chris also said that the bread I made was really good, that it can be compared to the bread served at the royal palace, one, meanwhile Louise Chan was busy stuffing the food into her mouth without speaking, she looked so cute with her cheeks puffed out, just like a squirrel, how do you make this bread, do you have wheat fields too, Artilda? What should I do? I feel like it's better to keep quiet about creation magic. The wheat was shared by the last sailors coming here. By the way I still have another loaf of bread. Would you like some more? Yes please. Everyone raised their hands. All three of them had great appetites. They devoured the fish and even sucked the bones. They also had second servings of bread and soup. It's nice to see people happily eating the food you cook, isn't it? Shiro-chan, will you marry me? After eating. The flirty girl tried to sweet talk to me. Well, no way that she would be serious about it. Sure you are. Please come again next time. No, wait, I'm being serious about it. Alright look, Lian San, you always hit on a guy right away whenever you see them, right? Since Lian seemed to be the type of girl who thinks it's alright to just suddenly flirt with a guy. Well, yeah, but Shai Ru-chan is special. You're good with cooking and you're sexy as well. I don't feel bad being praised like that. However, Leanne is somewhat lacking if compared with Chris or Cecily. I feel honored by your praise. However, I'm more interested with sincere looking girl like Louise over there. As I said so to Leanne, I can see that Louise's face turned beet reed. Oh wow, that's a really cute response, Louise. A hey, Shiru Chan likes younger people huh? I ignored Leanne's jokes and lowered the empty plates. By the way, Okami. Too. Okami, did she mean me? Yes, how can I help you? We saw something that resembles a ruin at the south of this inn. Do you have any idea what that is? Ah oh, crap, they saw that didn't they? I guess from the sky above, the entrance to the dungeon would be completely visible. It's a shame since Cecily was looking forward to having it all to herself, but if it had been seen by them there's no way I can keep it a secret. I don't know much about it. Only that it looked very old. I see. We're going to check that in the afternoon. Also, I'd like to ask you to prepare a place for us to stay for the night. Eh? You're going to spend a night here? Yeah. We were actually planning on setting up a camp on a suitable place somewhere, but there's an inn right here. No reason not to use it. Also, Okami's cooking was really good. Wow. My first customers. As you can see, we only have crude bunk beds. Would it be alright with you? I have no problem with it. It'd be even better if you can let me sleep together with you, Shiru Chan. Lian interjected from the side. Putting the sleeping together part aside, sleeping in the bed here would be much better than sleeping outdoor. Louise, do you want to stay the night at the inn too? Yes. I would prefer the inn very much. Louise enthusiastically replied, Hooray, that's three guests incoming. Understood. We will eagerly await for your return. Captain Milano took a wallet out of her pocket. Thank you for the meal, it was very delicious. How much was it? Oh, I forgot to set the price. Well, um, I've only bartered things until now. That would be a problem, since I don't have anything I could barter for except dried meat. Most of the stuff we have are government issued. Ah, that's not it. 
I don't mind paying with money, it's just that I don't know what the usual price for a meal is, rather, it's better to have money now since there will be a time soon when I'll be in need of it. Then, how about 600 laymans? If you eat lunch in the imperial capital, 500 laymans is the usual price for a meal. Both Lian and Louis nodded in agreement. Is that so? Then 500 laymans is enough. I have no intention of overcharging them so the usual market price was enough for me. Each one of them paid me with five copper coins, which has engraving of a strong-looking woman. Written on it was the words, apostrophe Melissa II of Urugoa Empire. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Well then, we're off to investigate the island. Please make preparation for our lodging tonight. Just as the three were leaving the room, I gave Louise Chan a wink which made her fidgeted so much. That reaction was really cute. Could this be a start of a wonderful romance? I made up the bed, while having a faint anticipation. 3. Goku, bring me some sheets. It'd be better to create more Gokus if I'm planning to have more guests in the future. Not only that it's convenient since I could leave the cleaning and making the bed to them, it would also raise the level of the Golem production, killing two birds with one stone. Now. I actually had been working on making Iwao's large shield x3 since this morning, but I decided to cancel it. I know I'm wasting 168 MP, but it can't be helped. Since there's something I need to build no matter what. Hash 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 hash. Item production colon rock bath. Category colon tool making. MP consumption 140. Explanation colon a bathtub made by hollowing out a large rock. Depth, 60 centimeters. Length. 400 centimeters width 300 centimeters production time colon 4 hours hash 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 it would take 4 hours there's barely enough time to make it that's right i wanted to prepare a bath for the sake of the guests who come back feeling exhausted no no this isn't because i wanted to see them naked this is purely me feeling generous to be honest it's not often in life that you get the chance to see multiple beauties naked at the same time, not to mention it will be a live performance. Sure, you can probably see that on some video channel, but to see it directly in front of you? That's just impossible, at least not in my life back on Earth. Now, however, I have the opportunity to do that, which was why I'd gladly threw away those 168 MP. Since I can regain that kind of energy in a little over two hours if I just sit around and do nothing anyway. So, I start setting up the creation magic for making rock bath. I wow, Goku, we're on an emergency mission. Everyone gathers now. The golems quickly gathered around me. Starting now, we'll build a bath near the stream. I wow number one and number two will level the area along the river and cover it with flat stones. Goku and number three will build a stove to boil the water. Goku, you understand right? It's the stone stove that we built yesterday. Monte Cris Island is a tropical island, so it should be fine if the water is only lukewarm, which means the amount of water we need to boil wouldn't be too much. Besides, Iwa won't get injured by fire, and it's very strong. It'll be an easy task for him to transfer the hot water to the bathtub. Everyone, I want you to put in your best effort, and show me the scenery never before seen by most men, thanks to the Gillums. The wall less open air bath plan was completed before evening. We placed the finished rock bathtub on top of the cleared rocks, and we managed to make it steady. It's quite spacious, so even if all four of us enter at the same time, it won't be a problem. Surely, it'll be fine if I join in the right. Dot. Dot on second thought, I'd better not. All right, Goku and I are going to go pick flowers and herbs. I want all I was to start boiling water to be put into the bathtub. Getting a bath in tropical countries comes with floating flowers in the tub, right? Four. I'm sure this would refresh their tired spirit. No no, it's not because I'm perverted, it's just that I want to give them a hospitable reception while being my guests. After all, in is a hospitality business. My status at the moment was like this. Hash 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 hash. Creation magic, LV.8. Acquired experience, 797 two thousandths. MP536 slash 536. Food production, LV.5 opening parenthesis CXP, 141 one thousandths closing parenthesis food creation. Time reduced by 9%. Tools production, LV.5 opening parenthesis CXP. 35 one thousandths closing parenthesis tool creation time reduced by 9% weapon production 
LV.2 opening parenthesis EXP colon 104 300 closing parenthesis weapon creation time reduced by 3% material creation LV.4 opening parenthesis EXP colon 78 800 closing parenthesis weapon creation time reduced by 7% Golem production LV.2 opening parenthesis CXP colon 139 300 closing parenthesis Golem creation time reduced by 3% medicine production other chapter 22 mango sorbet October 15 2022 in the evening the three of them returned while looking excited we're back we found something amazing welcome back did you happen to find something good i greeted them with clueless expression yeah that building south of here that was the entrance to the dungeon oh my i knew that though but let's keep up the pretenses it can be considered as great discovery right captain yeah since the dungeons of ancient ruins have a reputation for hiding many treasures the strict but honest captain milano looked really happy however such things were unimportant for me at the moment since there's something more crucial i guess congratulations are in order then well now i'm sure everyone must be tired right i have prepared the bath so please relieve yourselves of fatigue and dust from your travel i will prepare for your dinner in the meantime all right how was my acting? I think I've managed to recommend them to take a bath in a perfectly natural way. In conclusion, I tried to make it sound like the Okami of a long established Ryukin. 1. Wait, was it here before? Louise was surprised to see a bath with colorful flowers floating in it. Certainly, it has always been here from the beginning. I blatantly lied. Under no circumstances would I tell them that I had built it in a hurry so that I could see everyone naked. Was it, though? What are you babbling about? Louise, there's a bath right here, you know. Might as well use it, right? Oh, ooh. That's a good one, flirty girl. My evaluation of you just went up. Yeah, it's been three months since I last had a bath in the capital's public bathroom. Captain Milano happily unbuttoning her cloak. I put down the three baskets I had made and bowed politely. You may put your clothes in here. Well then, please leisurely enjoy your bath. I left the place for the moment while holding down my happiness. When I glanced back, I saw that the three of them were boldly taking off their clothes. Captain Milano methodically folded her clothes and put them in the basket. Leanne just threw them in. Meanwhile, Louise was still shyly taking off her underwear. Her large buttocks were pointing towards me. Banzai. I yelled loudly in my heart. Mission accomplished. Three naked bodies were standing in a row behind the steam. This is a tropical heaven. Maybe this what they mean by Shangri-La, too. I slowly counted to 180 seconds in order to suppress my excitement. Then while being careful not to show a lewd grin on my face, I approached the bathtub. Of course, this is to get a closer look. It's fine. I'm sure this kind of act is permissible in this world, I think. How's the water temperature? I hope it is to your liking. I cautiously approached the bath making conscious effort of lowering my gaze so as not to ruin the serene atmosphere. The lukewarm water feels just right. It's amazing how the fatigue seems to just disappear. Captain Milano has a wonderful body that belies her age. The bath water is giving off nice fragrance. In addition to flower petals, we also put herbs into the bath water. Louise seemed to have finally relaxed. Furthermore, out of the three of them, she has the biggest breasts. I guess she's the type that looks slimmer when wearing clothes. Shiru Chan, can you wash my back? Actually, you can wash my whole body. Excuse me, I need to prepare the meal. I quickly evaded. That was actually a dangerous situation. If the other two weren't around, I surely would have jumped to Lian's invitation. After imprinting the appearance of the three bathing in my eyes, I returned to the kitchen. And then I realized. Only watching without doing anything had made my excitement bent up almost to breaking point. At this condition, I think I'll do it with just anyone who invites me. And so I quickly rushed back to my room. Point one five minutes later, I was in a sage mode, and started preparing dinner after cleaning myself up. 3. For dinner, I made baked potatoes. I sautéed onion, garlic, and shredded salted meat in olive oil, then cut up boiled potatoes and added them. For the finishing touch, just sprinkled salt all over and, voila, it's done. Actually I really wanted to put cheese on it and bake it in the oven, but I didn't have time to do that. I didn't have time to make cheese, because I was busy making the bath. Well, considering the order of priorities, 
it can't be helped. Even so, I still managed to make delicious dinner. I made a soup by boiling cabbage. It's a simple soup, but I made the broth from the bones of a roasted wild boar, so it's reasonably rich in flavor. The only thing missing now is some dessert, if only I can make some. As I was thinking about it, Louise came over to me after getting out of the bath. Um, is there anything I can do? She looked so sexy in just her shirt after taking a bath. Oh no, I couldn't possibly ask the guest to help me. That's right. Louise San, can you cool the pot using magic? You mean freezing magic? I'm not particularly good at it, but if it's only cooling a pot then no problem. Well then. I'm going to make a mango sorbet using the pot. Can I ask for your cooperation in this? When I gave her a big grin, Louise nodded furiously. I put the mango juice and sugar I had prepared in advance into the pot and asked Louise to cool it with her magic. I'm going to stir the mixture, so please keep the pot fixed and let it cool, Louise San understood. When Louise used her magic, a cool, chilly air rose from the pot and the mango juice on the inside of the pot started to freeze. I then used a wooden spatula to scrape it off. The liquid mango juice gradually hardened as I keep stirring it around. Phew, it's getting hot in here. I'm beginning to sweat, so I unbuttoned three buttons of my shirt. And then I was back to the stirring process. Oh, I could feel Louise's gaze was fixed on me. Well, let's just say I'm giving a service to Louise, since she has went out of her way to help me. Dot. This feeling. I wonder what it was. Oh I see. It's like I was gone from being the one who is expecting to get a perverted peak to the one who provides it instead. What a strange feeling. Should I try going out to take a bath in the middle of the night? If I do so, maybe someone will take a peek. Whoa. I've never had this kind of excitement before. Is it possible that being watched actually feels good? 4. Thank you very much. You're being really helpful. I thanked Louise while lightly touching her arm. You know, even on earth. There were many girls who easily give light touch or tapping. I think it's an effective way to get the attention of the opposite sex. And especially effective against virgins. In this world, I think it's the other way around. But I think if a man does it too much here, he might get pulled away. 5. Don't worry, no need to thank me. Oh? Should I express my gratitude in other way, then? I tried giving her a bewitching smile. As much as I can do. An -n 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 -no need. You are. Louise ran away in panic. What the hell? That's cute. But you know, Louise, you're supposed to freeze it a little longer, otherwise the mango sorbet will thaw quickly. Oh well, it was fun chasing after Louise with the pot. Well then, everyone, please take a good rest until tomorrow morning. I will be in the back room. So if you need anything please do not hesitate to ask. I greeted them for the night and returned to my room. Also, I didn't lock my door. Frankly speaking, I was waiting for one of them to make a night visit. This is bad. Ever since I've seen them naked in the bath this evening, I can no longer contain my excitement. The person with the highest chance to visit me would be Leanne, the flirty girl. However, it's also possible that Louise would come too, since I've teased her a lot. Maybe she'll muster some courage to do that. Or maybe, just maybe, Captain Milano will come. However, if she were to have an affair, thinking about her son will make me sad. I waited all night with full anticipation, but in the end, no one visited my room. Everyone was surprisingly strict. That flirty girl, Leanne, had peeked when I was bathing, but never crept in at night. What a disappointment. She lacked courage. But, I don't have the courage to visit them myself either. Since I don't want to be thought of as an easy guy who sleeps with anyone available. Ah, the male mind can be complicated in this world. CH 23. Chapter 23, Magic Stones. October 29, 2022. When I went to the creek early in the morning, I found Captain Milano the washing her face. Louise and Leanne were still in bed. I peeked in when I was passing by and saw they were still asleep. With cute sleeping faces, Leanne was wearing only a shirt. So I was quite disturbed to see her in such an unprotected state. Good morning, Captain Milano. Good morning, Okami. Looks like today would be a good day to fly. 1. The sun had just risen, and the air was still a little chilly, but the sky was clear. Are you returning to the capital today? Yeah. The dungeon discovery report is a top priority after all. We might finally return to our home tonight, Captain Milan said, while showing a happy smile. It must be hard being a working mum. You must be looking forward to meet again with your son after a long time. Yeah. If I don't remind him of my existence once in a while, 
I'm afraid he might forget his mother's face. She really seemed to be a devoted mother. By the way, Okami, about what will happen from now on? The captain looked thoughtful. Most probably, a survey team will be dispatched soon. The scale should be around 100 people, I think. That's a lot. Um. My place is only able to accommodate four people. If we hurry up and make preparation we might be able to make more housing for more people but maybe I should order the Gillums to create log cabin? No, you don't have to worry about their place to stay. The soldiers will bring their own camp tent, and they should be able to make their own food. However, there will be few officers, they probably would like something good for their meals. Well, if it's that much then I should be able to prepare but I can only provide them with something similar to what I served yesterday, you know? That is good enough. The food you served for lunch and dinner was so good, I don't think even a senior officer with a discerning palate would have any complaint with it. Oh, and by the way, I'm a senior officer myself. It seemed that Captain Milano is a knight. Dragon riders are elites, right? So, Captain Milano must be an elite knight. Which means that Lian is an elite too. Too. Even though she's a flirt, it seems she's quite a distinguished woman. I think they will inform you on how things will develop, but just keep that in mind. I understand. I will make preparation to welcome everyone from the Empire. And also, this time, Captain Milano's face was clouded with uneasiness. Is something wrong? Yeah, many of the soldiers being dispatched will be young women. Some of them might try to make a move on you, Okami, just like Lian did. Hell yeah. Have at thee, Imperial soldiers. Three. I will not run, I will accept your challenge. Well, no, actually I don't want to if they're being forceful like the previous soldiers in the prison, but if they approach flirtatiously like Lian was, then I don't mind. I want you to be careful and stay conscious of yourself as much as possible. Always keep the glam nearby. I'll make reports as well. Thank you for your concern, but I'm sure I'll be fine. No, Shiro, you have too many gaps. Last night, you took a bath in the middle of the night right? I'm sure you noticed that Lian was peeking. Well, that's because I let her peek. That would make the young soldiers uncontrollable. Make sure there will be walls in the bath next time. But, but, I was starting to get a kick out of being peeked on. Alright, let's make special peeping holes on the walls, since I design my building with the customer's convenience in mind. Breakfast was over and it was time to check out. As for the payment, I don't know the market price. How much usually for one night with two meals? I asked them honestly. Is that so? Usually one night with two meals is around 4,000 to 6,000 laymans. The price that the captain told me is not for hotel but for guest house. If it were me, I would be a regular guest even if the price is 6,000 laymans. And I'd ask for Shai Ruchan all the time. Lian, my inn is not a cabaret place. However, from the way she's speaking it seems that 6,000 laymans can be considered a bit expensive. If that's the case, then let's go with 5,000 laymans. Then it will be 5,000 laymans per person for one night with two meals, would that be fine with you? The three of them accepted the price, and even said that it was a good deal. Well, this is fine for now. Ah, Louise let out a regretful voice when she's about to pay. Captain, can I borrow 1,000 laymans? What's the matter? You don't have enough money? No, I have enough in form of magic stones, but I left most of my coins at home. Dot. Dot wait. Did Louise just said magic stones? Excuse me, what's a magic stone? A magic stone is a crystallization of magic. It's something that comes out of a monster's body. It's used as a source of energy for magic items, so it can substitute as currency in imperial capital. Um. May I see what a magic stone looks like? Louise took out a glass ball-like object about the size of a confetti. I see, so that's a magic stone. It's said it can be used as source of energy for Gollum, right? If so, I think it would be better to have a stock of it. Well, I don't mind receiving payment in magic stones. What a relief. Then, the rest of the payment will be using two of Tri Magic Stones, is that okay? The magic stones are graded differently based on their size which from smaller to larger as mono, d, dry, and tetra. Mono is worth 100 laymans, d is worth 500 laymans, and tri is worth 1000 laymans. 4. Louise was then paying with 3 1, 000 laymans copper coin on 2 tri grade magic stones. 5. Thank you very much. And the moment Lousy dropped the magic stone onto my palm, 
Ding ding. Condition Met Medicine Production is available. Condition Met Some of the requirement for the creation of magical tools have been released. Oh, ooh, ooh. So having contact with a magic stone was the condition for unlocking medicine production. And there was also the possibility of making magical tool. This was all thanks to Louise. Thank you. You really helped me. I was so happy. I feel like I was going to kiss her then and there. Oh? That's not fair. Fine. I'll pay with magic stone too. Leanne who had already paid, was making a fuss. Ah, either way is actually fine, you know. I was only happy because it was my first time seeing Magic Stone. Then, that means you won't hold my hand like you did to Louise? If only holding hands, I'll do it for you as much as you want. And so, I held her hand tenderly. Shiru Chan. I didn't want her to get carried away. So I quickly dismissed Leon whose eyes were sparkling like puppy eyes and gave Captain Milano a hemp bag that I have prepared beforehand. Captain, please take this with you. What is this? A souvenir. Captain's the only one who gets souvenir. That's unfair. I want it too. Leanne was behaving like a child. It's for your family. Inside are mangoes and bananas from the island, and a rare shell. If it's alright with you. Please give it to your son. The shell was a beautiful shell with blue stripes on a white background found on the beach. It's something that can't be found easily on this island, so I think it's rare. Since Captain Milano's son was six years old, I thought he'd be happy with something like that. Thank you. This is a very nice souvenir. Captain Milano looked pleased. When the three of them were leaving the island, I waved at them until I could no longer see the wyvern in the distance. Goku, I was. Get ready. We're going to be busy from now on. Of course, there were no chorus of replies from the Gillums, but I was fully motivated. Chapter 24, Preparation. October 29, 2022. After I saw them off, I quickly set up my magic to create another Goku, which should be completed by noon the day after tomorrow. I wanted to make a few more Goku types Gillum, since I would be busy once the dungeon survey team arrived. Also, I will be able to raise my golem making level after I make two more golems. Who knows, maybe I'll be able to create a new type of golem. As long as I'm able to secure enough food, I think it's better to just continuously create more golems. From noon until evening, the Iwos were working on preparing field, making roads, gathering fjallwoods, etc., while Goku went to gather fruits. Me? I was fishing. Since I set my magic to create golem. I was currently unable to create anything else. I was planning to catch some fish, but on a day like this, I couldn't catch anything. 1. In the end I had no choice but to go to the rocky shore and catch some crab. The crab that I got was small. Instead of eating for its meat, this kind of crab was more suitable to be used as soup stock. It seems to suit nicely with tomato soup if I want to make pasta but it's still too early for me. Maybe later after I have some free time and MP. Since I've had three guests staying at the inn, my food stock was running low. There were only ten small crabs that I had just caught, six bananas, one onion, and a small amount of salted meat. Since Goku only found three papayas for today, my dinner will be crab soup and banana. I hope I can catch some fish tomorrow. After that, I'm thinking of capturing some wild goats that live on the island. If it's female, then I can get some milk. Although I can create milk by using creation magic, it's better to have some goats around so I can hide the fact that I'm actually using magic. Not to mention that there are times when I can't use magic to create things. Just like now. While feeling tormented by slight hunger, I finally fell asleep. Lately, I have been waking up at sunrise. It seems like I've grown accustomed to this world. After eating two papayas for breakfast, I gave orders to the golems. I wow, start making a path toward the ruins in the south. Goku, collect fruits again for today. I headed out to the sea after I gave the orders. I was thinking that it would be more convenient for the survey team if there was a road between the inn and the ruins. If the Iwos start building the road now, I think we can make a small path before they arrived. I'm sure they will appreciate it. To be honest, I just want to be praised and adored. In the near future, 100 women will be coming to this island. Surely there will be a girl or two that match my type. Since I have a wide range of preferences, I wouldn't be surprised if there will be 20 or more girls that is my type. Maybe even as many as 40 girls. And I wish to be liked by all of them. Which is why making a road or two is not a big deal. I still have a lingering memory of being assaulted by those terrible soldiers. 
but the bad memory has been slowly overwritten by the memories of my time being together there with Chris and Cecily, and also, the bathing scene with Captain Milano and her team. I have reflected on my carelessness during that time and will be more wary in the future. I think the reason why I was being careless at that time was because I was faced with such absurd situation that my brain went haywire. After some time passed, Goku number 2 finally completed. I really wanted to make another one in succession, but I was running out of food. Since I couldn't get many fishes for the past two days, I have been eating nothing but a miserable diet of small crabs. Goku number one, take number two with you to look for fruits. And while at it, show number two the topography of this island. After ordering the newly made Goku to work, I quickly set my magic to make some rice. As it turns out, it takes less time to create raw milled rice instead of an already cooked rice and I can create it in larger quantity too. Since I can just cook the rice by using pot, it's more economical to create milled rice. My creation magic takes 20 minutes to make 50 grains of milled rice. Since one cup of rice is usually about 150 grams, let's make 500 grams for now. It will be ready in 3 hours since I have the reduced food creation time attribute too. Tonight's dinner will be crab porridge. I've tried making leeks using creation magic before. After making use of the top parts, I tried cultivating the bottom parts in the field and they have been growing nicely, so now I'm cutting parts of it that's been sprouting from the ground to be used in the crab porridge, since I know it'll grow again soon. 3. Actually, I've seen my mother doing this before. I'm sorry mother, I thought you were being a miser. I never knew the importance of food until I came to another world. After spending the night preparing bacon and vegetables that would last for days, I began to make Goku number 3. Completing this one will raise my Gillum production level. I am looking forward to the next two days. I was, gather around. I ordered the three I was to gather around me. These guys are working day and night. While they do consume MP when they are working. They never get tired or complain, for which I am grateful. I replenished their MP before I start making the Goku, so I'm sure they will work vigorously today as well. Your jobs for today is to dig a hole. Come, follow me. While I was making preparation to welcome the guests, I realized something important. That's right, there is no toilet on this island. I've been doing it someplace a bit further from the cave, by the way. I know that some people may be concerned about sanitation. But it's actually alright since the beneficial monster, the slime, will immediately appear and absorb it. I don't know how it can sniff it out. But it'll come as soon as I put it out. Usually it appears just within 5 minutes. No, it's not because I'm giving off a weird smell. Anyway, thanks to that, the area around the cave is kept clean. However, when 100 soldiers come here, I don't think it will be possible to keep it clean around the cave so it will be necessary to build a toilet. That's the reason why I'm ordering the Gillums to dig a hole for the toilet right now. After the hole is ready, I will put some slimes inside to prevent environmental pollution. The toilet seat can be made with creation magic, tools production, so I plan to make about 10 private stalls. Oh, right, it's better to separate between the men's and women's, so I will make a separate toilet building for myself. I drew a line on the ground with a branch to determine the approximate size. Ok, Goku, dig inside the line. Make it 5 meters deep, and don't forget to add stairs to get out of the hole. After I gave them detailed instructions, the Iwos silently began to work. Starting with the toilet, the preparations for welcoming guests steadily progressed. After that, it was completing the path to the ruins, and then expanding the road to the Crescent Coast. With the completion of Goku number 3, who will become one of the staff, the Gollum production level has also risen to 3. Hash 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 hash. Item production colon wood Gillum horse type, LV.1. Category colon Gollum production opening parenthesis LV.3 closing parenthesis. MP consumption 212. Explanation, a horse shaped wood Gillum. It can be used for transportation and as a farm horse. Top speed is 40 km per hour. Maintaining top speed continuously for more than 5 minutes may cause damage. Production time colon 38 hours. Hash 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 hash. Looks like I can make horse golem now. I had to go everywhere around the island by foot until now, so it was very convenient. I quickly made a horse type golem and named it Silver, and lately whenever I go for a trip, I always ride it, even if it was a short one. It was my first time of riding a horse, 
that riding silver was really fun. 4. Bath for officers, toilets, road maintenance, followed by log cabin. The infrastructures has been built one by one. At the same time, I have creating different kinds of condiments in order to expand my repertoire. Not only salt, but also soy sauce, sauce, sugar, miso, spices, ketchup, mayonnaise, and such were made one after another. I also built a smokehouse, since I want to make food like bacon, sausages, and smoked fish here. I don't want to just create things out of magic, I want to also create things with my own hands. And like that, the preparations had been progressing smoothly. It was noon, ten days after Captain Milano and the others left the island. I was fishing in the sea as usual when I saw a wyvern flying over the horizon. It seemed that one of the three had returned with some message. Chapter 25, Visiting Again November 3rd, 2022 T-N Hello all. Thankfully I can post the next chapter a bit earlier, and it's all thanks to Drum Roll, Mr. My underscore own underscore worst underscore NPC. Or abbreviated as Mo W NPC. Ah, I hope you don't mind me abbreviating it. Anyway, he volunteered to smooth out the chapters for me, correcting grammatical typo and making paragraphs feel more natural so I don't have to double check and triple check the grammar. Hopefully this will result in faster releases and a more enjoyable read. So, again, thank you my underscore own underscore worst underscore NPC for helping me out with this translation. I hope you'll have a good health and good fortune. A wyvern landed on the crescent coast, and the single dragon rider dismounted and landed on the beach, raising a cloud of sand. I wonder who's visiting? As I watched with anticipation. The figure that took off the flight cap turned out to be Lian. Hiya, Shiru Chan. Thanks for picking me up. I would rather have Louise coming here. But I welcomed her nonetheless, careful to not let the disappointment show on my face. Actually, in terms of beauty, Louise and Lian were on the same level. Louise was plumper and had the allure of a compact and curvy figure, while Lian's build was tall and slender. As a self proclaimed man of culture, I can appreciate both body types and I like them equally. However, Louise's reactions are so innocent that I want to tease her like a big brother, while Lian would constantly sexually harass me whenever the opportunity arose, which reminded me of certain perverted old men. I didn't feel very good about it because it reminded me of my boss at the company I worked for. Good afternoon, Lian. I see you are visiting alone today. Yeah, the Empire has completely taken control of the sky around here so there's no need to fly in formation anymore. 1. It seems the war was going in the Empire's favor. And now I'm worried about Chris. Let's try fishing for information. Now that I think about it, I heard the Empire was also at war with the Kingdom of Regalta. How is the situation now? I tried to sound casual. It was a great victory to our army. Is what I'd like to say but things are difficult at Bawanda Fortress in the east. Rumor has it that Regalta's war princess is taking command there, you know? The top brass is having a headache over it. It seems like Chris managed to reach Bawanda Fortress safely, thank God. Sounds like a difficult situation. Yep, that's right. And that's why I need Shiru Chan to comfort me. But Lian San, aren't the soldiers on the front lines the ones who are struggling right now? Well, yes, but... And so... Our silly conversation continued as we walked back to the cave. Here, I have souvenirs for you. Lian smiled brightly while handing me a large jute bag. She only needed one hand to hold it, but it was actually so heavy that I needed to hold it with both hands. Again, I was reminded of the difference in strength with the woman in this world. You are, this is heavy, sorry, my bad. Lian said apologetically while wrapping her arms around me to support my body. It would have been better if she would have just taken the bag from me instead of holding me upright, but I think this had been her plan from the start. What's inside? Here, I brought things that might be useful to you. The contents of the bag were food items such as flour, butter, and wine. There were also new clothes inside it. You know I can't accept this. Don't you worry about it, it's just a mere token of appreciation. Having said that, I still felt like there was an ulterior motive. But still, look, if you really feel bad about it, how about washing my back the next time I'm taking a bath? That's a simple enough reward. 2. What should I do? Ah, uh, well, that much is fine, right? I won't do anything weird. Honestly, it'd be fine even if she did something weird later. Or rather, it'd be preferable if she did something weird. No wait, 
I absolutely want her to do something weird. Then again, it's probably not a good idea to get involved with Leon here. Soon there will be a survey team of about 100 people coming from the mainland, and who knows, maybe there'll be someone that I like better than Leon. Besides, if I get involved with a flirtatious woman, there's the possibility it could start a this boy is mine kind of possessiveness. I don't mind having a one night stand with a girl like that, but I doubt she could keep a secret. Maybe I'm biased, but I feel that a woman like Leanne is likely to brag to her friends about having slept with me, or rather, I think she is the type to brag to everyone whether they want to hear about it or not. 3. Like Kawasaki san the senior during my part-time job. He was a prick that loved to tell the details of his conquests to the junior staff. If Leanne did the same, I might end up being approached by many soldiers, thinking I'm an easy score. And that situation would not be preferable. The type of women that would approach me after hearing those stories couldn't possibly be right for me, since they'd just want me for my body. I don't mind having casual sex once in a while. But if I were to do it all the time it would make me feel terrible. Ultimately, the thought of taking gifts in exchange for washing someone's back feels kind of dirty, and my pride won't allow that. I'm sorry, but I have to decline. I'll be returning this to you now. Wait, no, that's a souvenir for you. This is a respect of Berlin, not a brothel. Leanne obediently bowed her head as she finally conceded. I'm sorry, that was not my intention. I'm pretty sure that was her intention though. But since she seemed genuinely apologetic, I decided to forgive her. Besides, I can't stay mad at Leanne. Honestly though, I really wish she would just try to flirt with me like a normal person. If she could do that, it'd just be a matter of timing. 4. Leanne had also brought with her an official letter from the Empire. According to the letter, the survey team would depart in four days, and the number of people would be 118 both soldiers and non-combatants. The survey project would last approximately 30 days, and the person in charge of the site will be a military commander named Lot Graham. So, what kind of person is the commander? She is the second daughter of Baroness Graham. Or was it the third daughter? Anyway, she's the daughter of a loyal retainer family who got her position mostly due to her family's connections. Oops, but don't you dare tell anyone I said that. Still a little loose-lipped. Alien, do you know how old the commander is? Why do you wanna know her age? The real reason is because the ideal age for a romance partner is between 17 and 45, which is as wide as the Pacific Belt. Anyone not in that range is too young or too old for me. Well, there's no polite way I can just say that to Leanne, so I'll have to choose my words carefully. Look, depending on your age, your food preferences can change right? Like becoming averse to greasy food. Is that so? Well, she's in her twenties, I think. Good for you, right? Since Shiru Chan prefers younger women. I don't particularly prefer younger women. I just thought that Louise San was really cute back then. Actually, I'm more inclined toward older women, but if I tell that to Leanne she might get overexcited. By the way, you're making roads now? She must be referring to the narrow path from the front of the cave leading towards the south. I asked the Gillums to make a new path and they really hopped to it. I thought it might make it more convenient for the survey team when they go to the ruins, I said, trying to present myself as a considerate, and hopefully attractive, kind of guy. Yep, they'll be thankful for that. Thanks to Shiru Chan. I'm sure the survey team will do their very best. I will make report of this to HQ. That's it. Please report good things about me flirty girl. Hopefully Miss Lot and her team will get a good impression about me. So, the leader of the survey team is an aristocratic young lady, huh? Though, I wonder what kind of person she is. I can't just ask Leanne if the commander is hot. Ha. Huh? I've been flying since the early hours and I'm beat. Let me crash on your bed for a bit. Will you be staying the night? Yeah, even with the wyvern. Going on a day trip between here and the capital is kinda harsh. Even if traveling by Wyvern is the fastest way to fly, it's still an eight hour journey over the sea. Once I finished preparing her bed, Leanne's head had barely hit the pillow before she was fast asleep. So, I will be alone with Leanne tonight. Part of me was looking forward to spending the night together with another person, living on a deserted island can be rather lonely after all. No matter how many gillums I create. I still yearn for conversation with other people, and maybe some physical interaction. I went to the kitchen to prepare dinner. CH 26 Chapter 26, In Limbo November 3, 2022 T slash N, again, 
Thanks to my underscore own underscore worst underscore NPC for being my beta reader. Also, limbo here means in a constant state of indecisiveness, instead of the place between heaven or hell. Dot. Actually, it can be taken as the latter, as a figure of speech. Chime. Wound medicine time until finished zero o'clock. Wound medicine is completed. Please specify the location to appear. While I was preparing dinner, my creation magic had completed making wound medicine and I set it to appear inside a container just like before. This was the third time I made the medicine, so I had already accumulated 30 milliliters of ointment. Since Louise gave me the magic stones I had been able to make medicine, but so far I have only been able to make treatments for physical injury. Lately I'd been making a lot of it in my spare time to raise the level of my medicine production skill. I don't know how effective the medicine is since I haven't had any wounds yet but it's supposed to be 10 times more effective than similar medicines produced in Japan. Also, it's a medicine that reacts to magic power, so it should be more effective for women than for men. Men in this world don't have magic power. I think it's really unfair. Well, I have magical power though, and I can use creation magic, which made me an irregularity in this world. I think the potion would work perfectly for me. I kind of want to test the efficiency of the drug but I don't want to do it by hurting myself. I thought about testing it on animals, but I would feel bad if I injured them. I had thought about using the fish I caught, but the process of wounding them, treating them, and then killing and eating them seemed too horrible of a thing to do. What about releasing the fish after healing them? You asked. No, that's unacceptable. Every fish that I catch is to be eaten, that's is the ironclad rule for survival on this island. One. On the days when a lot of fish are caught I must preserve them either by drying or smoking them, so I'll be prepared for the days when I don't catch as many fish until I can get a stable harvest from the field. I can't afford to be complacent. Now that I think about it, Lian is here. I'm wondering if she has like a small injury or something? I'm sure she'd be happy if I applied medicine to heal her. On second thought, she might use the opportunity to make me smear the potion in a, figuratively dangerous area. I guess I'll just keep it in case of emergency and consider myself fortunate that I have no need to use it. Good evening, Shiru chan <clears throat> Something smells good. Lian, who had been taking a nap, had woken up. Did you sleep well? For tonight's dinner we'll be having bouillabaisse and garlic toast. The bouillabaisse was made by using a lot of seafood ingredients found in the waters around Monte Cris Island while the toast was made by spreading butter mixed with grated garlic on the bread before toasting it. By the way, I ended up buying all the ingredients that Lian tried to give me at fair price. Butter, white wine, and flour, all of them are important for my cooking. Lian San, are you going to make regular trips to the island going forward? Why, you want to meet me again? A part of it, yes, although it's mainly because I'm wondering if I can bother you with requests to do some shopping for me. I see. So that's how it is, but hey, if it's for Shiru Chan's sake I wouldn't mind bringing you goods, you know. Thank you, Lian. As thanks I'll make tonight's dinner a bit special for you. Let's make banana cake for dessert. Since I've got butter and flour, it'll be perfect. Dot. Shiru Chan, let's eat dinner together. It feels lonely eating by myself, you know. It's fine right? Accompanying her for eating dinner would be fine, I guess. Alright. I will join you for dinner. I decided to eat dinner together with Lian. Cheers. The sound of ceramic mugs clanking with each other echoed within the cave. Since I haven't created any wine glasses yet, we drank our wine from baked clay mugs. The dry white wine, which had been moderately chilled by using Lian's magic, goes really well with the bouillabaisse. Drinking wine together like this, it feels like we're a married couple, right? Yes. Yes, and please remember to not try anything weird if I get drunk, alright? Goku might think that my life is in danger and attack you. I know, I know. I promised you I wouldn't do anything weird, didn't I? Lian grinned widely while pouring more wine into my mug too. Even if this is a different world than Earth, I guess the act of trying to persuade the opposite sex by plying them with alcohol is still the same. The more drunk you are the easier it will be to lose your logical reasoning. Since I'm aware of that, I'm careful to only drink one glass of wine. I'll make Lian drink the rest of the wine, so she'll get drunk and pass out. Here, Lian San, 
Please drink some more. And I still have more garlic toast if you want another serving. Ha ha. Shiru Chan pouring me wine makes it taste even better. I'm so happy. Of the four bottles of wine she had brought, Lian had almost emptied two bottles by herself. She's now lying on the table and sleeping. The wine wasn't even that strong, so probably she's still feeling tired because of her flight from the capital. Lian San. Please wake up. You can't sleep in this place. You are. Uh, let me sleep a bit more. E. E. Uck. Even though it's just Lian, how can she look so cute right now? Alright, I'll help so try to stand up for now. Here we go. That's it. I positioned my head just under her armpit and propped her up. I've always wondered, but how is it that drunk people always suddenly get so heavy? 3. That tickle less. You are, that reeks of alcohol. But it feels so soft. The side of Lian's breast was stuck on my cheek. She's not wearing a bra, but maybe it's not like she doesn't want to wear it. Maybe it's more because there's no such thing as a bra in this world. Now that I think about it, the time when I was peaky. Cough, I mean, checking the water temperature on Captain Milano's team, none of them were wearing bras either. I finally managed to carry Lian into the bottom bunk of one of the beds but not without having an incident of accidentally stumbling and thrusting my face into the valley of her wondrous bosom. No, it was an accident, I swear. Hwah, I'm beat. Actually, it would have been easier if I had let Goku, or maybe Iwao, to carry her, but I didn't do that. No, no, it's not because I'm a pervert. This is merely a part of the hospitality service. 4. Well, I think I'll go to sleep too after I give Goku and the Iwos some instructions on how to clean up. I think dot I won't lock my room tonight. I don't think I want to have that kind of relationship with Lian, but if the moment was right. Maybe. The male mind can be confusing sometimes. 5. Iwow number 1 and number 2, boil some water and prepare a bath, while number 3 prepare the torch. The Iwows immediately went to work after I gave the order. The water was again lukewarm. The sweat from the day was removed, and my whole body was washed clean with soap and water. After taking my bath, I changed into freshly made underwear before going to bed. Leanne, will she be coming tonight? What would I do if she really showed up? Well, I'll just leave that decision up to when and if it happens. If at that moment our feelings intertwined, then I will accept it, or if at that time my reasoning come out on top. I will reject it. I heard that a person's choice can change depending on the movement of electrical signals in the brain at that time. Ultimately, I don't think Lian would force me to do something if I really didn't want to do it. I can trust her that much. I fell asleep that night while feeling in limbo, torn between wanting to do it and not to. I woke up at sunrise as usual. I lifted the bed sheet to check, but my underwear was still on and there was no sign that it had been taken off. So that's how it was. Pretty sure I would have woken up if Lian had decided to creep in. When I quietly opened the door, Lian was already awake and packing. Good morning. You are up very early today. Morning. Yeah, I'm planning to be back in the capital before nightfall. Alright, breakfast will be ready soon. I made breakfast, and although Lian didn't ask me to, I also made her a to-go lunch. A simple sandwich made from bacon, lettuce, mayonnaise and pepper on a round loaf of bread. Even though it was just a simple meal, Lian was still very pleased. If it's like this, I can even eat it while riding the wyvern. Thank you, Shiru Chan. No, no, don't mention it. After all, for me, Lian is my first customer. Indeed. I certainly took your bunk beds first time, and your toilets first time, although it's true that you're the first person to try my newly made bunk bed and toilet. Why do you have to say it like that? I went down to the beach to see Lian off just like last time. Shiru Chan, I know you turned me down yesterday, but can I ask you to accept this? Lian showed me a small package from the top of the wyvern. Well, if you don't need it, you can just throw it away. After saying that, she threw the package at me, so I had no choice but to accept it. If you don't like it, you can use it as a rag or something. With that, Lian turned her gaze away from me and spurred the wyvern onward. It poured at the ground and started running down the beach, and then flew up into the sky. I waved my hand and watched Lian go until she was out of sight. When the giant wyvern disappeared beyond the clouds, the island felt strangely quiet, maybe because the lively Lian was no longer on the island. She may be an aggressive sexual predator, but I miss her already. Anyway, what's inside this small package? I can't help thinking that it feels very light.
and when I opened the package I couldn't help but giggle. The gift was a pair of bright red underwear, and the fabric was quite thin, lacy, and scanty. She wants me to wear this? Would the women of this world be happy if their man put something like this on? Well, if the person important to me would be happy if I wear this, then I just might. But, dot my dry laughter echoes through the quiet island. For now, I decided not to use it as a rag and put it inside of the chest that I had just made.